This is Lysian. We are going to be doing a Conjurer Skeleton run today. I uh, just wanted to show before that I have a Skeleton Conjurer run. Uh, this was an achievement run where I played both Conjurer and Skeleton for the first time. Uh, I got my 100,000 gold and I, I think I did the Cockblock achievement and a whole bunch of others in this run. But it was over five hours long. So... I'm not quite sure I want to do another 5 hour skeleton run, um, they tend to take a little bit longer due to the lack of healing and, and stuff, but uh, you know what, we'll, we'll just jump into it, we'll see what we can pull off, what we can do. Uh, the settings is just going to be a regular conjurer skeleton. Now personally, I'll, let me actually quickly go and show you guys, conjurers are tanky mages, so you'll scale intelligence, you'll also scale constitution. Um, that just generally makes them pretty damn tanky and most of their damage is going to be in magic. Um, obviously, if most of your damage is in magic and you're a skeleton, you don't have a lot of mana regen, that's kind of bad. So we're going to have to go down the route of uh, playing with our minions more than anything else. But yeah, this is uh, a conjurer. Skeleton... I should probably show the information about skeleton as well. Uh, no hunger, we don't starve. We have 25% of our health and mana regeneration. So I think by default it's one every 12 seconds, one point of health. That means we're going to have to wait 20... No, basically you have to wait like a minute for one point of health. Which is... <laughs> it's quite long. <laughs> um, we don't need to eat our food. We're immune to burning. So those are some positives. And the Solve Resurrect at 75 mana is also a great positive. Uh, but generally I'd say if you want to play a skeleton. You'd want to play um, some sort of melee or range class. Uh, because if you do die, you don't need to use magic. You'll have your mana. And, you know, you'll be just fine. Probably better to play a range class. Um because of the, uh, one, you have resistance to ranged, and two, uh, you won't take as much damage, so healing isn't as big of a problem. But yeah, so if I have to recommend a race for the Conjurer, I'd recommend Incubus. Uh, one, you get magic resistance, which is always great, and two, you get the Arcane Mark spell. The Arcane Mark will negate all all weaknesses and resistances so all of this stuff basically gets nullified um you will not have any weakness to anything which you know so you don't do 150 percent damage but you don't do 50 percent less damage to certain enemies especially later on if you get to like the crystal caverns and so on there's a lot of enemies there that have magic resistance so for any mage in general i'd recommend incubus uh, if you don't want to play as an Incubus, then you could probably play as an Automaton or Insectoid, I guess, if you really, really want to. Uh, I'd probably play either the um, Incubus, Vampire, I'm just, I love my Levitation and stuff, but we're not going to go into any of those races. I know a lot of people want to unlock the Conjurer, um, and they'll play a Skeleton Conjurer. I don't recommend this combination. If you want to unlock the Conjurer class for um, all races, then just play a Skeleton, Archer, a Rogue, Hunter. Um, heck, play a uh, Skeleton Mechanist if you want to. to, to just to, to do yourself a favor. Don't do not do what I'm about to do. It's not fun. It's not great. It's not fantastic. I will try and make it work. Uh, I'm probably going to do one, maybe two runs. If I find success, Ooh, that's bad. Um, it's not so bad. Uh, if we don't find success, then, you know, it is what it is. Uh, one of the first things I'd recommend doing is summon your skeleton immediately. Because your mana regeneration is so slow, you'll want to make sure that it's always and always regenerating, not wasting any time. We do start with a spellbook of slow. Now, we're not going to use it. In a similar sense, we're not going to be using the Staff of Lightning, at least not initially. We'll save that for the gnome level so that we can potentially uh, keep our skeleton bros alive while uh, we can zap a few of the lightning gnomes and then have our skeletons uh, fight the the regular gnomes. Uh, even the trolls are going to be a little bit difficult for them to deal with. 
Uh, we start with a lantern, so I'm not going to pick up any of the torches. We also start with three polymorph and a restore magic potion. Now, I generally would recommend trying to hold on to this restore magic potion for as long as you can. Um, but again, we're skeleton. Our mana regeneration and stuff is pretty terrible. Um, here you can see one health every 48 seconds, one mana every 24 seconds. So uh, for us to conjure a single skeleton, which uses 17 mana, um, that's going to take us like, I don't know, almost five minutes or 10 minutes. It's, it's pretty long. So uh, one thing we are going to try and do, especially since we have constitution, uh, is I'm just going to try and find a shield so that we could potentially tank for our, uh, for our little Skelebro. Another thing I'm doing over here is I'm just kiting the uh, skeleton aggro's on me, so he's not attacking my skeleton. And since he's not attacking my skeleton, he doesn't take any damage, and he lasts longer. I will drop um, our cloak and hood, just because I don't want to uh, bring that wolf. I don't want to... It's just extra weight, and we don't need it. Let's see if we can find a rat. Because I'm hearing that rat. Okay, here's two of them. Just let the skeleton kill as much as you can. So the thing about Conjurer in multiplayer is that... I, if I'm not mistaken, I am kind of talking under correction here. But your skeleton, your minions, your companions, they're the ones that need to actually... Uh, get the, the kills in order for you to uh, in order for them to get experience. So here I'm just doing the same thing as before. I'm just letting my skeleton do do some damage while uh, I'm kind of just debating away. Unfortunately we had to go around the corner and lost aggro there but uh, it's okay. So back to the, um, the experience of your minions. In multiplayer, if your allies are going to be killing everything, then your skeletons aren't going to be getting a lot of experience and that just makes them a lot weaker towards the late game. Now, if you're playing more of a spellcaster, it's no problem. Um, the f issue comes with the people that play conjurer skeletons. Uh, most of your damage will come from your companions, so if they don't get to level up, that's going to really hurt you in the, the long run. Because you don't really have magic, you don't really have any melee or range damage. So the only thing you do have is your skeleton. Once we get further, far enough along... Just gonna kite backwards here, while uh, dealing with the skeleton. We also don't have any perception just yet, our perception is negative, but uh, yeah. Personally, you love crystal chats. You mean the crystal golems? Uh, what's my Skelebro doing? <laughs> He's just chilling there. He's after the rat. Uh-oh. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh. Don't get debated. Uh, yeah. Attack, interact. Um, the menu, that menu that I just interacted with, that's probably going to become a pretty big, pretty important part of your, uh, your interaction with the... Of a skeleton conjurer, at least if you're going down the path of playing with your minions. So, the shortcut for that is if you press C, you'll open up this, uh, this spinny wheel thingy. Uh, to the left is move to, to the top is wait here. Um, you can tell them to rest, which will allow them to heal a bit. And to the bottom right, you'll have the attack interaction. Now, if you did select this, um, any one of those interactions, in fact, I'm just going to use the, the move to command so we could just tell him to move there and then if i press c i can issue another command just tell him to move somewhere or after you've issued a command it'll remember that command and you can just press q so we could just tell him q move there q move back and then that will allow you to interact with uh, your minions or companions in general a lot faster so okay he went and decided to attack the rat that, that's okay. We, we, we wanted a rat to be high. Uh, you made the high level knights. Oh, 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 the crystal jets. True, true. They get pretty powerful. 
they honestly I uh, when I did my challenge run with the uh, with the conjurer uh, initially sorry not my challenge run my achievement run with him uh, I pretty much did what I'm about to do in this run as well now we just did have to follow us uh, he's, he's just gonna stand around there and wait. Um, so in my initial in my initial run, I pretty much had the crystal chats. Uh, I went and did the Baphomet boss fight with only the crystal chats. So I basically just killed everything by themselves, and then they were just tanking and killed both Minotaurs with a single summon. It was ridiculous. It was hilarious. Um, they can become very powerful, but. You need to let them get the XP. They need to be able to level up. Uh, the red, so you're gonna go skeleton caster. You also want to learn to do alchemy. Alchemy is good, yes. Alchemy is definitely great if you're a skeleton conjurer because honestly, it's just skeleton in general. Um, just being able to craft your own restore magic potions is amazing and uh, in general, uh, you can just allow yourself to do a lot more. Con Al Al Alchemy in general is just amazing. So, highly recommend it. So again, I'm just debating around in circles. I think skeletons do all of the work. You're gonna just punch that rat, make him a little bit weaker. And our guy has leveled up. We can finally appraise some cheese. Um... Our inventory is a little bit full, so <laughs> I'm not exactly excited about this. It's too full. Okay, at least now we're getting to five things. Uh, if you're not getting piles and piles of restore magic skeleton, what are you doing as a skeleton? Exactly. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's... Trolls are going to be a bit of a problem. They're going to be difficult to deal with. Um... We could just fight him with ranged. And then, you know, take it from there. I don't have any shields, so I can't actually... I mean, I've got plenty of shields. We could probably just use those. Uh, do I have other armor? I guess I've got the decrepit eye armor over here. Um, so one nice thing about skeletons is you can equip cursed stuff and then unequip them. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess I misremembered that. That's kind of hilarious. Uh-oh. Uh, well, in that case, I'm just gonna tell him to go around the corner. Just, <laughs> just move over there. You just, you just wait there. I'll, um, I'll go deal with this dungeon. <laughs> I swear, I swear. I, I remember that skeletons used to be able to. It's automaton. I guess I got the next up. I haven't played... I haven't played them in a while, as you can tell, clearly. Okay, so we're just gonna debate him. I'm gonna remove my, um... I'm gonna remove my, my lantern, because we don't need to use it here. Uh, luckily, this is a troll. As you can see, we're doing zero damage to him. And, uh, generally, that just allows us to break this... <laughs> this sleek shot faster than, than we'd otherwise... Otherwise would. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is fine. This is this is perfect. This is all part of the script, all part of the plan. Don't equip cursed stuff. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna pew pew him down this corridor because once we get him to the other side, I'm, I'm going to uh, just run around him and pull him back that way. There we go. Just get him to go around the corner here. Run past them and pick up those gloves. Oh dear! <laughs> it was an excellent slingshot as well, so it's gonna take a little while to break. Not ideal, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, since he is taking so much damage, I'm just gonna tell my Skelebro to attack him. We'll summon a new skeleton. We'll uh, kind of show you he can't really fight the troll, at least not head on. So you, you definitely want to uh, you definitely want to kill trolls in a different way other than um, with your skeletons. At least early on. Later on, when your skeleton gets a lot stronger, probably after gnomes, um, you'll be able to do a little bit more. This is going to take a while to break, isn't it? 
Oh boy, at least it's not a Minotaur level. If this was a Minotaur level, this would be so bad. This would be so, so bad. <laughs> Is this Metal Gear Solid Zelda footage? I love Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is an amazing game. Oh boy. Let's run past them. I should summon my, my skeleton again, actually. That's the whole reason I sacrificed him. Okay, hold on, hold on. You move there. And then... Okay, well, if you want to chill inside the door, that, that's fine with me. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain. You, you do what you need to do, Skelebro. <laughs> Man, Snake Eater. I actually recently watched a video of uh, Snake Eater on YouTube where a guy did a European Extreme challenge run where he wasn't allowed to use the tranquilizer dart or, sorry, that tranquilizer gun or any other sort of, uh, he's not allowed to, like, kill any enemies. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting challenge. Real James Bond stuff. Oh boy, this is... Oh my goodness. Okay, it's the crap that it's about to break. Thank goodness. No! Scalabro, don't do it! No! What are you doing? He's not... Oh. oh well. Let's get him around the corner there. That, that's kind of why I wanted my Scalabro to just like chill out on the side. Oh man. Hey, the Skull Magnus. The Red F. Are we Red Faction? By any chance? Oh boy. So if you do have to encounter trolls like this early on, and you want to get give your skeleton the XP, um, I would recommend doing some sort of range damage. Um, if you're really in a pickle, that's when you should use your Staff of Lightning. But I would highly recommend holding onto your Staff of Lightning up until uh, you do the Gnomes level or past Gnomes. That's, uh, generally that's where you want to be most. That's where you're going to be the most vulnerable. This is taking forever. Um, so in the meantime, you'll probably want to kite the trolls and then just use your fists or a different kind of melee weapon. I am not getting this slingshot to break! Just break, damn it! Just break! <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. Oh, at least it's a slingshot that we could just spam from far. And not like a short bow as well, where, you know, it's really slow. But still, this is, this is just taking so long. Oh my goodness! No, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Break this. Just break it. Just break. Any moment now. No, chat, chat. Help me out of here, okay? I break. I, I want you guys to encourage the slingshot to break. Just, just type it. Make it happen. It's all on you guys. You, you can do this. I believe in you. I guarantee it, when you guys type break, the slingshot's gonna break, okay? Okay? That you just you just gotta do it. Break slingshot! Break it! <laughs> just break! I need more people typing break! Just break! Come on! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is it working? Is it working, chat? Just break, yes, just break! <laughs> Come on! You can do the slingshot! <laughs> chat, oh, chat, I don't think the slingshot's listening to us. I, I think this. I think the slingshot's trolling us right now. <laughs> slingshot thinks we're doing a Joker run. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's still the carpet, right? Oh jeez. I just need to get one bad roll. What is the roll chance anyway? Uh, ranged. Weapon deck. It's two percent. It's less than two percent chance. Oh my goodness. Well, at least we don't have to worry about hunger. <laughs> One of the perks of the skeleton, I guess. Oh, man. Ooh, geez. Dwarf made the slingshot. 
Either a dwarf or Tony Stark. And I'm gonna put my money on Tony Stark. He pulled a time machine, came to Barony, and uh, was like, you know what, we're gonna make this one slingshot. But once the user equips it, it'll never come off. Uh, you'll never be able to let go of it, it'll just be so good. Damn it, Tony, why'd you do this to me? Uh, I got Spellbook of Light, Olympic Swimming. Olympic Swimming is probably one of the items that you really, really want to get and just hold on to early on. And the reason why, and this is a very important reason, skeletons suck in the water. They absolutely suck. So, you, you just... You, you don't want to swim unless you, you have that. You, you probably just want to try and uh, go a different way. So, this is what I was saying earlier. If you... If you're playing normally uh, as a skeleton conjurer and you want your minions... Is he coming after me? No. If you want your minions to uh, get all of the experience and you do encounter a troll early, just kind of stand at max range and try and get as many sneak attacks on them as you can. You're playing a skeleton, you don't need to worry about hunger, you could take your time. Um, this also, you know, is, is another reason why playing as a skeleton conjurer in a party is not recommended because uh, you don't have the time to mess around with these guys. If you can get them next to a wall or some sort of a... some sort of opening where you can kite them around in circles, uh, that will help as well. Otherwise, just get behind them, get a couple of sneak attacks, and then once they're weak, you can summon your skeleton and have them finish him off. There we go. Does anybody know about the uh, the skeleton experience, by any chance? What uh, what works for them and what doesn't? I'm going to hold on to this crossbow because we might be able to use that. The uh, staff, I'm just going to spam and get rid of it. It's just a slow staff. We can potentially use it, but... I, uh, I'm not really feeling the whole using slow staffs and magic. Uh, but the crossbow I'm going to put on my inventory, it's a ranged weapon. Uh, it's good to use any kind of ranged things on a skeleton so that you don't... You don't take unnecessary damage. It takes so long to heal. Blank scroll, I'm going to hold on to it. Something tempted to boulder over here. I'm gonna believe that it might be another troll. What is this? Just the mines, another staff of slow, blank scroll, blank scroll, and sword, confusion potion. So many blank scrolls. Kinda, kinda ridiculous. Uh, we could punch our way through here. I guess there's a fountain back there. Maybe we can get a succubus. Succubus is great for experience. Magic and tanking is bad. Regen is terrible, but it's made up for the second life and you don't have that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You need to try and keep as much mana as you can for the uh, the second life. So here there's a... Oh jeez. Just tell him to move away. So here we have a full health troll. I'm just going to tell my skeleton bro to go as far away as possible. Um, I'm going to kite this troll. I don't know how much health he has. Okay, it's on half health. I'm going to kite him to this fountain. So we can just slowly uh, punch him around the fountain. And then uh, get him low enough so that our buddy can take care of the rest. You definitely want him to try and maintain max range as far as possible. Uh, if you can kite around a fountain like this, you can see it's a lot easier to keep him at max range. And not worry about the, uh, the extra damage you're going to take. You just, you, know, you just gotta make sure that you're not in like a direct line. Okay, I'll punch him once more and then tell my Scalabro to come and finish him off. Spellcasting's useful for pretty much anyone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, we're playing as Conjurer. Conjurers are tanky mages. So the problem is, if we can't tank then we're just a useless mage, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, but we're going to get our AC up to the point where, uh, you know, they won't be able to bother us. So if I equip that shield, we already have 10 AC. That is huge. If we block, um, you can't see it because I need to hold spacebar. But if we uh, do block, 
Uh, my, my AC will go up by another five. I can probably take a look at that over here. Yeah, the defending AC increases by five while blocking. So 15 AC, I think you need about 20 to be able to tank control. Um, it's not too much. We'll, we'll definitely get there. Okay, so this looks like it's a shop. Uh, we don't have any money. So I'm going to ignore the shop. We're just going to pass it. It's not really a nice shop anyway. Uh, tell this guy to follow me. Oh, I told him to relinquish his soul. Uh, that's that's fine. I, I guess the skeleton doesn't need a soul. Yeah, why, why, why would our skeleton need a soul? <laughs> okay. Uh, follow. Okay, no, he's already following. There we go. Okay, okay. Uh, Ring of Protection, which could be good and useful early on, but I'm going to ignore it. And, uh, yeah, let's go. It also shows in the AC tab, does it? Passive skill bonuses, attributed bonuses, I don't... Oh, okay, okay, I see. Active blocking bonus, plus five. Gotcha. Um, it's right over here if you guys want to see where it is. Active blocking bonus, uh, plus five AC. It's the second line there. I guess I was looking there when I uh, stopped looking there. And I cooked that one, just because why not. Drop all the food, want to hold on to that shield. Um, don't need to hold on to the food. We have so many blank scrolls, which is really nice, but also really terrible. Okay, that's open. Um, I, the reason I say it's terrible is because we're using four of our inventory slots. It's nearly 20% of our total inventory space, just on scrolls, and um, we, we need to carry them around until we find a feather. And we might not find a feather up until uh, we get to Hamlet, where we can buy one with the blue orb. Assuming, yeah, we'll, we'll probably get the blue orb. Ooh. Okay, so now the fun begins. We're gonna go to Nodes. We have two shields. We have one excellent staff up slow, which I'm just, I'm just gonna use it. I don't wanna hold on to this. I'm not planning on saving it for anything special. Um, I think I will equip my lightning staff here. We're gonna pick up the four torches. We're gonna go to South Route. Um, and then, depending on if it's a melee gnome, or if it's a lightning staff gnome, I will decide if I want to use my staff of lightning or not. But yeah, we're just going to come here, we're going to grab all of these torches. We're going to come this way. He's got a lightning staff, so we're just going to zap him. Uh, yoink his staff. This is on our hotbar, we have a bow that we can use to uh, kill the lightning gnomes, and then we'll save the staffs for the trolls. Uh, let's go this way. There's another gnome to the right here. He also has a lightning staff. We'll just zap him. Drink the food, because why not? Equip the cloak, because why not? We'll drop the torches. And... Then we'll head this way. There should be a troll just around the corner. There he is. I'm just going to weaken the troll a lot, let the uh, skeleton finish him off. And now we just got to deal with more gnomes. Lightning gnome. Just going to zap him. Any lightning gnomes, we just zap. Oh jeez, okay. Skelebro's going to die. Okay, Skelebro does not die. Um, in this case, our skeleton is very weak. So I'm just going to tell him to move into this corner, and then I'm going to tell him to sleep. Uh, that way he will regenerate some of his health, and uh, we'll be able to use him in a little bit. Again, this is a cursed lantern. I'm not going to hold on to that. I will hold on to the other lanterns, though. And then from here, what I'm going to try and do is just find a gnome or two. Uh, hit them with the crossbow, try and debate them into... Uh, Close proximity to our Skeleton Buddy. Okay, they don't want to take that damage, but that's fine. It's not the end of the world. And I'm actually just going to finish him off 
because he is close enough to a skeleton for him to possibly get some XP and uh, I don't want to use my mana to summon more of him. We could also possibly, you know, just try and dodge all of his uh, lightning shots and then break his staff of lightning and then uh, have our skele buddy, um, you know, just deal with him afterwards. Uh, same old, just gonna pew pew him. Pull him up here, our skeleton should finish him. I think I might have killed him there accidentally. Whoops. It's fine, it is what it is. Okay, so he can't sleep again, we'll just tell him to follow. And then we'll go and look for more of these gnomes. Now if we didn't have the uh, Staff of Lightning there, I would probably just use a shield, block and punch. And uh, kill the, the gnomes that way. Uh, we have a serviceable... Oh my goodness, we actually found an enchanted feather. That's crazy. That, that is ridiculous. That's just wow. Okay. Uh, the staff is decrepit. It is a staff of lightning. Okay. So I'm going to hold on to that. Make that our uh, primary item. I say primary item. I mean our primary weapon. Um, just because why not? Did they buff the AI healing rates? I don't think they did. If I have to take a guess, I'm gonna say no, but I never play with AI, so I can't say with 100% certainty. Okay, most things here are dead. This guy, we're gonna kind of just bait back here. We'll use the shield. Okay, crossbow is not really good for us. I took unnecessary damage for using the crossbow, um, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, we do have a healing potion. I'm going to hold on to that if we level up a few more times and our constitution goes up. Uh, if you read there, it improves the effects of potions of healing. So let's rather level up and get the, the most out of that potion if we can. I could have also swapped to a staff of lightning and just blasted him, but I figured, you know, we might as well level our shield up a little bit. And we are going to be power leveling our shields as a skeleton. Because uh, there's no way. Excuse me. You gotta, you gotta wait here, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna just zap him, I think. We have plenty of stuff, so. Jeez, okay. Uh, you attack him. There we go. He's leveled up. Uh, we'll tell him to follow again. And go to the... Oh, okay. Well, I'll just let him fight the, uh, the gnome now. <laughs> Why not? Why not? It might as well. And the next gnome we see... At least the next gnome with a shield. We will try to fight and just block... Level up our, uh, our blocking as much as we can. And I'm kind of just exploring through all of these paths. I'm listening for gnomes. But uh, mostly I just want to kind of explore this area, make sure we thoroughly clear it since we are a skeleton. Um, you know, it is what it is. We also have 70, more than 75 mana now. Uh, if we do die, we will come back with full health. So, hey, that, that's a massive positive side. They're in the walls. They really are. They really are. Okay, I'm just gonna tell him to wait and then follow. So that's now the issued command. I think there might be a troll to the left here. No. I guess he's behind the wall. Oh! He was to the left! Okay, I'm just gonna zap him. Same with that, uh, that uh, gnome. I just wanted to get rid of the gnome. Uh, staff's broken. Pickaxe is cursed. So I can't really pick up anything here. It's unfortunate. These gems I'll probably just toss. And I kind of need this decrepit lightning staff to break. Which is the second decrepit item that we've gotten that just doesn't want to break. So, there's that. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say about that. I guess we are just getting really lucky with the durability, huh? Oh, man. You learn to fear those chip chaps and then... This guy 
flies through them like a breeze. Are you talking about uh, the skeleton, buddy? Okay. Well, that stat's now officially broken. That's good for us. Um, we have 10 AC. Our blocking isn't high, so can't tank the trolls just yet. Uh, I'm gonna put this cursed pickaxe on my hotbar, just in case we do want to use it. Here's food. We could appraise it and then just put it away. Uh, I'm not gonna be too fussy about that. We'll just keep moving. Here's a troll again, so I'm just gonna tell Skelebro to come here. Tell him to wait. And then... Zap him a couple of times. Tell him to attack the troll. Just gonna hold my shield up, just in case he comes here. And we're goodsies to goodsies. Okay, so this guy is next to a troll, which is unfortunate. If he wasn't next to a troll, this would be very easy to deal with. Um, but unfortunately, because he was next to a troll, uh, I guess I could have used a different weapon to kill him, but I wanted to tank the, uh, the gnome. Okay, so here I am going to swap to the pickaxe. I think we're just going to drop these gems because I really don't care about them. Um, I'm going to start mining some of this gold in the level. While avoiding um, any of the NPCs. We know the bottom right of the map is relatively cleared. So it should be able to be safe just to run through, mine any of the gold that we find. Ooh, okay, he's got lightning. That's not good for us. Um, hmm. I could just tell my skeleton buddy to go attack him. I could try and debate him around the corner here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then tell the attack command. Come on, come on. Did he run away? Okay, skeleton should go and kill him now. Yes, wait for it. We're one hit kill from the uh, the lightning staffs, but uh, oh. I'm kind of hoping my skeleton loses here. <laughs> I guess uh, he doesn't lose. Ah, oh, that's that's too bad. That, that's a shame. Let's drop all of that. There's another shield here that I kind of want to hold on to. I'm going to drop the Confusion Potion, just because why not. Uh, we also have this water that we could potentially uh, drop. Sorry, not drop, potentially drink, and then uh, restore some health. I might actually just do that. Uh, maybe we'll save it for the Underworld. Okay, so we're just going to run through here, pick up as much of the gold as we can, uh, make use of the pickaxes that are cursed. And then uh, we'll go back and uh, pick up our little Skelebro, who I'm thinking about just resummoning. No, if we resummon him, yeah, you know what? Let's just resummon him. It's fine. It's fine. So uh, we'll just cast a spell, resummon him. It uses mana. We are very weak, vulnerable now, uh, since we are below 75 mana. But our skeleton buddy is, you know, we've got two skeleton buddies now. Uh, another command, since we've got two of these boys following us now, that you can use whenever you're dealing with companions, is to press E. If you press E, you can see it cycles between them. So I can basically give the command of wait. A skeleton knight waits patiently. E and wait. Now both of them are going to be waiting. And then if I want them to follow, just... Uh, Q to issue the command, E and Q to issue the command, and they're both going to follow me. So we'll just have them follow us up here again, and then we'll start clearing the, the upper area. I need to kind of get a rough idea of how long um, I'm going to need to play safely for. Because we cannot deal with any lightning gnome. If we get zapped twice, we're just dead. There's nothing we can do about it. Do 
like this gold, come around, go to the Minecraft pickaxe, yoink that, get the gold, nice. Okay, drop that, drop that, equip this one, even though it's cursed, go through the walls. Just want to get a little bit more gold, break this last pickaxe, and then, uh, there we go. I really need to start using those shields, so I'm going to tell both my skeletons to wait here. There's a couple of gnomes up ahead, and we don't know what they have. Lightning staff, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to bail out. Zap him. We'll go see what his buddy has. Oh, there's a thumpus here. Well, in that case, this might be a good opportunity to uh, start leveling up our shields. So uh, let's just go one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll equip this over here. I'm just gonna... Slowly pull him back. I don't really want Thumpus to come. And then we'll just hide over here. Uh, hold our shields in our inventory and we should be good. You can never have enough gold? I guess that's true. That's true. Hey, emoji! Welcome in, welcome in. You made it, yeah. Uh, we're playing a conjurer skeleton, and um, we're currently abusing the system of shields, because why not? We can, right? Might as well. I think I'm going to hold one of those, uh, either shield four or five, I'm going to hold on to for later. This is also not necessarily a good spot to be standing to do this. I'm just gonna hide in this little corner over here. Okay, there's two shields. Yeah, we're just leveling up blocking. Blocking, uh, if you increase it, increases the amount of armor you get from actually blocking. And it also increases the amount of passive armor you have. And it increases the amount of, um, whatchamacallit, constitution, your constitution scaling which is a complicated algorithm that I'm not going to get into. Um, but yeah, if you do level up blocking like this, you can uh, increase your constitution quite rapidly. Uh, Aesop, you've been loving the Barony content. I recently purchased this game and... Hold on. You've recently purchased this game and you're loving the world. Your guides and streams have definitely helped. Much love from New Zealand. Hey, so thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I originally started posting Barony content because I noticed that there wasn't too much on the internet and there wasn't really any kind of useful guides or any... There wasn't too much useful content out there to help you learn the ins and outs of the game. There isn't too many secrets that are shared um, and I just wanted to try and help people get through the level. I know I know how, how tough it can be to get into Barony at first, um, so hey, you know, if it helps people, that's awesome, that's exactly what I want. And I will be posting more guides, I, I have the Warrior one that I'm working on right now. Um, it's just currently... Uh, how do I put it? It's just currently on hold. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that, it's just currently on hold. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that works, that, that's fine. I'm just gonna remove my uh, torch there and since Thumpus is here what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna tell my knight to follow we're gonna zap Thumpus get Thumpus nice oh jeez I need another staff get Thumpus nice and low so that my skeleton can deal with it a lot easier and then uh, we'll tell the sentinel to follow there we go they should get a little bit more XP from that as well. Uh, drop the extra staff. We have another cursed pickaxe, which I cannot use because our staff is cursed. 
But I'm just gonna run through the level, uh, see if we can't find more trolls to zap, or skeletal mages. I don't know what that guy has. Okay, he's a he's a regular guy. Nice. So this is the one of the more dangerous areas in the no maze. Okay, that's not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, I can tell them to sleep quickly. So sleep, sleep. Uh, we'll swap back to the sentinel. While they are sleeping, we are going to just run down and get ourselves the helmet. Doing the gold, because why not? Oof, troll. Hello. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> just go around the corners. No problem. No problem. Break these. Grab that. And we are goodies to goesies. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to drop the cloaks and stuff. Just opening up our inventory a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to unequip this shield. If we do find another gnome with... Uh, Okay, our, our uh, one skeleton decided to die. That's okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to resummon him down here. Uh, that's what was in slot number four. We'll move this down here. We'll just summon him over here. Uh, tell them both to wait. And then we'll poke our head out again. Uh, what are we terrifying if the enemies level as well? They do level up, actually. If they uh, kill each other and get enough XP. Okay, so we have a we have a guy over here. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Um, I think I might just I might just wait for one or two mana and just do a quick resurrect, just to get my health back up to full. Jeez. I don't need that. I'm gonna put this and this on my hotbar. I don't really want to use them, but you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to just come and do this. Um, and then we'll tell the sentinel and knight to follow. Tell the sentinel to come and shoot this gnome. I don't know what my allies are doing. Uh, my sentinel is going to a really weird spot. So I'm just going to tell him to come here. Tell him to follow. And he is fighting what looks like a troll down here. Which I really don't want him to fight. Oh my goodness, okay. Just resummon, I want both of them to... Okay, well, that was a little bit too late. Uh, I wanted both of them to be able to uh, get experience from that troll, but, you know, you can't get it all. Let's go back up here, see if we can't deal with that gnome who is still there, so tell the knight to go and attack him. Because I don't trust the sentinel anymore. There we go. Doing his stuff and just poke our head for the rest of the level. Okay, so that's why I try to get a little bit of control over my NPCs. Uh, the knight will just relinquish, get some of our mana back, and then we'll just summon him again. And then we'll tell the knight to go up and fight that gnome. I'm just gonna walk all the way around and just... there we go. Just distract the gnome for a second while he can come in and get the uh, killing blow. Easy peasy. Let me squeezy. That gnome must have been pretty good at punching before he died. Yikes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I know, what, I know which one you're talking about. Yep, yep. 100%. 100%. I don't think they level up skills. Then again, I have heard that... I have heard from players that they do. 
And this isn't something I can confirm or deny. Our skeleton should now also be strong enough uh, to tank this troll. But I should also be strong enough with my 14 AC to tank this troll. So I'm just going to come up here. I'm just going to debate this troll backwards. And then my, uh, my Skeller Bros can slowly kill the troll while I level up my uh, shields. There we go. So the shield we have equipped right now is cursed, which, you know, is less than ideal, but that's fine. That's fine. I think this one's just worn. Yeah, this one's just worn. Oops, that's the wrong wall. Get some more gold. Go around here. Get more of the gold. Uh, my mana is not looking amazing right now, but uh, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll figure this out. Should be gold in the wall just around the corner here, right? No. Well, I guess we'll just make a shortcut to the other two gnomes that I'm hearing. Oh, jeez, lightning. Ah, okay. Relinquish. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just summon him again. Okay, I didn't mean to show my own guy once. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was a, it was a mistake. It was an accident. You just take a nap, buddy. You just take a nap. You just chill. It, it's fine. You, you'll be fine. Oh, no. There's a little bit more gold here, but... I don't think we have too much... Too many spare pickaxes. We only have three. I usually try to come out of gnomes of at least two. He is now a one-shot, and he got finished. Nice. We also have plenty of staffs of lightning, which is always great if you're uh, playing as a spellcaster. And I think, you know, we've, we've cleared enough of, uh, enough of gnomes. I think when he's done taking his little uh, skeleton nap, we'll uh, just head out. Maybe we'll poke our head in the top left area here, just see if there's anything else for us. But uh, I think most of the enemies are cleared and taken care of. Listen. Nope. Sentinel, remember that. Uh, Sentinels, I honestly, I... The Sentinel can be nice, but I really, really don't like them because... I don't know, they, they hit you if, you know, because ranged and stuff. Um, and on top of that, they also hit your skeleton buddy, and then he hits him back, and then they're just not happy with each other. Uh, he also is squishy, and I don't know, I just... I, I personally don't like him, but I do try to level him up. He is useful in certain situations. Uh, have we interacted with the fountains? I have not. I can't speak might as well. I'm also just going to drink this bottle of booze. Maybe we get an empty bottle, and we didn't. I'm going to drink this bottle of water, which is blessed water. Do not drink blessed water. Note to self. Oh my goodness, that hurt. Uh, drink this, and we don't have an extra. Please don't be blessed. It's poison. We might actually have to uh, use one of these. Let's wait. Do we use mana? Or use health? Yeah, that's honestly one of the reasons why I usually ignore fountains. It's not necessarily very useful. It's a gamble every single time. And um, now we have to pretty much waste our mana potion there just to keep the run going. Um, I mean, I guess the blessed water also really messed me up, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's always RNG. You can't, you can't. Okay, so this now uses 27 mana, and we only have 18. I guess I could wait for mana. I still have my bow and a couple of staffs. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go to the next floor. If it's a minotaur floor, then we'll, we'll just run to the exit. 
if it's not a minotaur floor, we will slowly try and do something. In fact, maybe while we are on this level, let's see if we can't find um, that one gnome that I'm hearing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fountains, man. Fountains. Interact with them with bottles. Oh, jeez. Or if you have, I guess, a poison resistance necklace, it's still fine. Oof, that's not what I wanted. I'm just gonna pew pew him. It's not critical to uh, min max here. We'll get another staff, we'll get another shield, and uh, more importantly, we got a little bit of extra. a little bit of extra mana for the next floor. has been rattled by that shock. No kidding. No kidding. Skeleton and skeleton watch in horror as their master sips the less water cosplaying as the ghost rider for a whooping 15 damage. Yeah, it, um, <laughs> that really hurt. That really, really hurt. Oh, it is, it is what it is. I, like I said, I've mentioned this several times. I never play skeletons. Uh, it's not, it's not really a favorite race of mine um so i tend to avoid them okay so this is a minotaur level we're just gonna dash through uh, grab as many items as we can i guess we could zap a few things on our way we did find a exit um just gonna punch this guy punch this guy we're pretty pretty level we're, we're not weak we're, we're kind of strong um Drop that, drop this. Don't need the scroll of fire. This is a dead end. I'm gonna keep exploring, even though it's a minotaur level, just because we can. And we can also summon our buddies now. And I think we found Mine Town, so that's also really great. We could go in there, uh, see if the shops have anything useful for us. We have nine charisma, so that kind of helps. I'm gonna tell the knight to fight this skeleton. It's gonna open up and not worry too much about anything here. See, the sentinel is just sentinel is just I don't know. He, he, he's a weird little. He's a special sentinel. Yeah, I'll go with that. He's just a little special sentinel. Uh, drop, 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 drop. I'll pick up the scroll and I think I'm just gonna leave. We have a little bit more time to explore, but the big part here is just killing as much as we can and then leaving. Getting any experience is better than no experience, okay, so let's see, there's no slime there, there's gonna be a human here, I'm gonna level up our shields a bit again, let's say two, three, I don't know why he's blocking, what are you doing bro? That's fine, that's fine, uh, I usually name my skeletons Calcium! Ah, I see what you did there. Interesting. Clever. Any advice for hardcore mode? I recently got to floor 10 as an unglowed goblin ninja. I'll finish that run today. I would recommend playing a vampire ninja. Uh, not using your crystal sword initially. Only using your throwing daggers. And then... Saving your bear traps only for trolls and lightning gnomes in the gnomes level. After that, after you finish gnomes, grab as many of the lightning staffs as you can. Uh, if you're relatively new to the game, I'm assuming you're not new since you're playing hardcore, I wouldn't recommend going to the underworld. If you're feeling confident, going to the underworld is insanely great for experience. We're going to do it on this run as well, even though this isn't hardcore. Um, after that, try and just maintain a balance between the ranged and melee. Try and always weaken things, try and always get stealth kills. Um, just the most important part is try to avoid any damage. Uh, keep an eye open for healing. Uh, if you go to the underworld there's usually a good chance that you can find healing, which is another reason why I go there. Um, 
Honestly, any sort of healing is great. Stock up on potions. If you don't know alchemy, learn alchemy and make your own potions. It's absolutely one of the most overpowered skills in the game if you know what you're doing. Uh, oof. I don't know. I guess I could do a, a ninja hardcore run again sometime, but uh, I haven't done that. I haven't done that in a while. I finished several hardcore runs. By far, the most difficult thing in hardcore is doing Baphomet. Because you have to deal with skeletons constantly. Okay, well, um, he's gone. Whoops. <laughs> that, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, whoa, jeez, Flawed Opal. Wait, what is our... What is our 65? Jeez, okay. Nice. But yeah, hardcore. I want to play hardcore more. I, I really... Oh dear. <laughs> okay, you know, that's fine, that's fine. You, it, it, that works, that works. Okay, so please wait and wait. Pick up everything, drop the extras. I'm gonna drop that and put on these boots. Hopefully my skeletons do not come to my aid. They are not coming to my aid, so that's great. Awesome. For a creature without muscles, your character sure can throw hands. I mean, what can I say? My punches are bone hard. It's all the uh, the old calcium that I had in my uh, my past lives. Yeah, yeah, totally, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh man. So here, our blocking is is getting pretty high, pretty fast. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna try and get it to max. But, uh, I guess. I did find the throwing daggers really useful while playing. While I played. So, mixing melee and range makes sense. Um, I recently did a uh, ninja run where I blessed sh uh, shurikens and daggers and stuff. And I tried using the throwing weapons a lot. Um, I'm gonna just say this straight up. Ninja and ranged, although it can work, I'm not a huge fan. If I play ninja, I always play full melee. I'll use my daggers up until gnomes. Past gnomes, I generally swap over and only use bronze swords and iron swords that I picked up from the uh, skeletons we got in the previous levels. And then uh, once you get to the ghoul fortress, generally speaking, you'll have... Uh, You'll have legendary and swords, and at that point you can use your crystal sword, which is pretty much stronger than anything else that you can deal with. Um, that's that's me. In hardcore, obviously, you know, you're going to take a lot more damage if you do get hit, and things do get pretty scary. Um, so it's worth holding on to the daggers and doing a little bit more with them, softening up your targets before you try and get a stealth kill on them. Let's uh, have the skeletons finish him off. Wait, that shield wasn't broken? Okay, we've got two more shields, but I mean, th this guy isn't going to be doing anything for us, so uh, that's fine. Let's just tell our knight to move here. We'll see if there's any... Uh, there should be one more NPC yeah, in there. Um, there's another one over here. I've got two shields, so I'm just going to give him a nice little power punch and then... I really hate leveling up shields. Oh, he's got an axe. We can't. We can't let him keep hitting us. That's unfortunate. Shall we risk it? Boom! It's blessed our... Helmet? Oh yeah, bless the helmet. Nice. That, that's actually worth. That's extra intelligence. So I can tell because, one, our armor went up by four. Uh, but you can also tell from the intelligence. We've got 21. Uh, so it's plus 9, where usually the helmet is plus 8. But every time it gets blessed, you get an additional plus 1, so... You know, that, that works out quite nicely. Let's, uh... Check for slime, open up the gate, go around the corner, and yeah. You better drink all that bath milk afterwards. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I wanna. No, no. Can we, can we just say we did and then not do it? That would be great. 
Okay, this guy has a shield. He also has an axe, which is unfortunate. We'll just, uh, we'll just punch him. Get rid of him. Drop the torches. Drop his armor. Drop the axes. Uh, cloak of protection. I'm gonna drop that because it's not important. We'll use... We don't have any food. I drank all of the fountains. Let's think about this. Um, I could break open the wall. I could just buy a little bit of food. See, the thing is, if you use polymorph potions as a skeleton, you will be affected by hunger. Um, and I'm kind of just... I'm kind of just thinking, like, how do I want to deal with that? I think I'm just going to break this wall over here. Uh, we'll do our trading and then just leave after uh, dropping into the water. So, Polymorph. Let's see. Buy the healing potions. Um, he's got iron boots. I'm not going to worry about that. He's got repair scrolls. I don't really want to worry about it. Let's see what this guy has. Healing. I'm just going to buy any and all healing potions that I can. And you know what? Might as well get a single piece of meat. We'll eat that right before we go. And that is Boots of Levitation. Uh, I'm going to go and see what the last shopkeeper sells before I buy it. Maybe we can level up our training a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we'll just buy all of this. We could just buy the food and sell it. That's going to help us level up our training. And then that... Uh, that levitation boot should be a lot cheaper. Okay, so buy all of this. Sell all of that. Get more healing potions. I'm not going to worry about the cure ailment potion because I don't think it'll have a too big of an effect, but yeah. Let's just keep going. Buy all of this. Buy the apples, the cheese. Sell this. Sell all of that again. I don't usually uh, do this min-maxing with uh, with uh, trading and stuff, but I figure, you know, we might as well. We're playing a longer kind of game with the skeleton, so I might as well go all out and see what we can pull off, what we can achieve. Uh, this guy is selling plenty of these now. Nice. This god point is a strength. It's not. Uh, we can get these serviceable shields. It might be worth. Um, I am going to just sell these boots. How much gold do we have? 2,000. I might have messed up, actually. I might have spent too much gold. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. No, we spent all that gold and we still have plenty extra. Instead of, we saved like 500 gold from that uh, whole interaction. Okay, so I'm going to buy all of the booze as well. Uh, it's healing and healing is something that we might have a problem with as a skeleton. So again, just going to buy one bread. Um, maybe we'll buy two breads just in case. And then, I think we want those shields. What do I drop? I need to drop something. The floor opal? Yeah, I'm just gonna drop the floor opal. I'm not fussed about it. Um, buy the repair scrolls. I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll buy two of the shields. I'm gonna get rid of the worn one there. That worn one. And we'll buy two more serviceable shields. It should be good. To, uh, to keep on going. Yeah. Trading at its finest. I know, I know. I, I Honestly, I hate it. But I mean, we got 45 trading from that interaction. Was it worth? Uh, I'd say it could have been worth. Okay, so do we want the potion of might? I'm just going to drink it right now. Uh, we'll swim through here. I'm not gonna level up my swimming. Oh. My skeleton squad sat to death. Interesting. Did I not pull the lever? Whoops! I was so enthralled by the potion, I didn't even pay attention to the lever. Hopefully, our potion is not last long enough. If it doesn't, that's fine too. 
We leveled up, so definitely much worth it. Yeah, you can get two levels from uh, from maxing out uh, trading, but honestly, you don't need to min max uh, so hard in Barony to find success. So I generally try not to do it, just to show that you don't have to do it. But uh, I don't know. We are playing a skeleton, so <laughs> I kind of feel a little justified in it. Wait, where am I going? This guy. I got so confused there with my pathing. Uh, let's put the shield on my hotbar. Shield on my hotbar. You can equip the boots. Put this on my hotbar. That on my hotbar. And then the next, the next NPC that we find, uh, we're just gonna level up our blocking. I am gonna also unequip the pickaxe because I don't plan on breaking the walls. Don't need any of this. I do not need the food that I should probably have, probably have uh, consumed. I'm curious now. Can you even con consume booze as a skeleton? Because I know you can't eat food. I know food is a big no-no. Um, and I know booze gives you a bit of food, so... I'm not 100% sure on that one. Going to gold. There's a shop over here. I guess it might have been better or more min maxi to wait. There's a troll. Plus two Olympic swimming. Don't worry about that. Do we level up our shields a little bit more? I really don't like it. He's a wakeful. Okay, we should probably get our shields very high with this. And then uh, we'll take it from there. So now that I bought this bread, tell me, how much would you buy this bread for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, come on, come on. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll just tell him that it's actually a different bread, and um, it's imported from the outer world. So it's definitely worth more than what he originally, uh, you know, the, the, the bread I got him. I mean, I bought from him, yeah, 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 yeah 100%. You see, it's not about it's not about what you buy and sell. It's about how much worth you attach to the things you buy and sell. Huh? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I hate leveling up, blocking with a passion. Yeah, exactly. It's indigenous space bread. You you know the vibe. You know exactly what's going on. So I'll just. Have him back away into that corner. And then, yeah, we just gotta wait. Ugh, it's frustrating. Let's get him to a one shot. He'll heal up, so it's probably not gonna be a one shot, but it's fine. Do you guys like to level up blocking? I. I personally feel that I liked it more when shields broke faster, and then personally I feel like shields, every single hit that you take, um, should have the potential of breaking it. Every single hit. But I also feel that every single time you block, you should have a chance of um, your block going up a little bit more than it does than this, because leveling it up just takes very long. It makes it feel like you don't really care about using shields, because your shield skill is not high, and to get your shield skill high is just... it's tedious, you know? So, what do you guys think about shields? I feel like this whole process is tedious. I'd much rather have it level up faster, but break faster, so... All of the hundreds of shields that we've just gone through each have a purpose, and we can just play the game regularly using shields in regular combat rather than kind of, you know, doing what we're doing right now. Leveling up anything in this game could be a chore besides appraisal. I suppose if you say it like that, I don't know. 
to me it just feels like if I use magic and play the game regularly, I'll hit 100 in magic. If I just use my fists or any sort of weapon, even if I start from zero, it'll hit 100 by the end of the game completely naturally by itself. But when it comes to blocking, blocking levels up so slowly because you barely block ever that it almost feels like it just takes... It doesn't feel like it's one of those things. It feels like something that you need to train. Something that you need to go... It's kind of like swimming. You'll never get to 100 swimming just playing the game naturally. Right? But... Yeah, exactly. When they're swimming. It, it's similar. But the thing about swimming is it's not something that directly benefits your character in any major sense other than you move faster through water or you can walk on top of water which by the way is a thing that I do not like. I do not like being able to walk on water because if you are ever on fire then you know that's bad. Yeah, exactly emoji. Exactly. And if you play a class like if you play a melee class, blocking is useful. It's definitely useful, and I do use it even in my, even in like any of my other runs. Um, not as much though, and it never ever really levels up. It never really levels up to the point where, you know, you kind of get the bonuses from actually having a high, a high point in blocking. And at that point, does the five armor really make that big of a difference? You could just kill something twice as fast. So, do you really want the five armor? I don't know. It, it's just, it's it's a pet peeve of mine. It's something that I don't like. I'm sitting here looking at this. I don't feel like this is good content or good gameplay. I'd much rather just have things level up naturally um, and then be encouraged to use the tools naturally throughout the game rather than uh, taking time out of my taking time out and, you know, doing what we were just doing with the, the poor little troll there. And I should probably have backed off and let my Scalabros deal with him. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, our blocking is nearly at 100, so soon we won't have to do that again. That's at least a bonus. So we have a Ring of Might. We never needed to use the potion. Uh, we also have a Ring of Constitution. Which increases our armor even more. <laughs> I think if we wear the Ring of Constitution, we'll just be so tanky at this point that almost nothing will hurt us. Um, but I'm going to hold on to the Ring of Might. And I'm just going to block with my... No, I'm actually curious. Nah. We, uh, we took too much damage from that trial. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, drop out, hold this, drop this. Olympic swimming, pick up all of the junk. Is this a good ring? Ooh, cursed magic resistance. That might be worth holding on to. If we can uncurse that, that would be great. Love and thingy. Uh, I don't know, do we just leave? I don't feel like there's too much on this level for us. the appraisal nice picking up everything <laughs> it definitely makes a bit of a difference is it worth it uh i guess kind of it gives you experience experiences levels levels of stats but you know at the, at the end of the day it's just two levels for getting to 100 so is it really worth it i don't know I'm gonna drop that. We'll check the chest for the first time in a long time. Poison resistance, just a regular black cloak. Yeah. Loot goblin. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. If you just pick up everything. Loot goblin your way through it'll uh feel pretty in a pretty good state. Okay, so here we are going to equip this. Put this on one, two, three, four. And I'm not gonna... I think I've got levitation, yeah. So I'm just gonna run through. Tell them to... Follows me, waits, and waits. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go out. I'm not gonna worry about having the uh, minions kill my... I have the minions kill the, uh, the imps and stuff. I'm just gonna go and do it myself. They'll get pretty overpowered in the, uh, the next couple of areas, so... And you know what? I am going to kind of max out our... our Scalabros. Poison resistance might have been worth holding on to, but that's fine. Oh, I uh, should probably have noticed that. Just gonna zap him because I don't feel like dealing with the the staff. Uh yank everything here. Just punch this guy. We'll drop those. Opening, that's great. I'll put that on my hotbar. Come here of the empty bottle, see what's in the fountain. It looks like it was just regular water. A regular water fountain. Yikes. Um, there might be an imp in this room to my left. Yeah, there is. So, I'm going to equip that decrepit pickaxe. Summon my companions in here. And then just have them kill him. Why? Because why not? Ooh, spellbook of cold. I really, really want that. Oh I, I'm I'm getting scammed. I'm getting scammed. Uh, okay, let's just go around the other way. Level 19 on floor 6 is insane! Is it? Oh no, well, this is pretty regular. Uh, excuse me? There we go. Let's relinquish their souls. And then we'll just summon him in here. Let them level up a bit. Oh, this is actually the... <laughs> this is actually, like, uh, a useful place. And he's just gonna pew pew at me. I really want to use Remove Curse on the uh, Cold Book. But I also really want the Magic Resistance. I guess if I have a choice, I'll use it on Cold. And again, we're not really gonna use it, are we? You know what, I'm just gonna go to the next floor. Wait for it. Wait. Wait. And... Shadow is. He's in here somewhere. Okay, he's gone. And I think at this point. We're in a pretty good spot. We're level 21, it's floor 7, and... Our companions are pretty strong. There we go. My dodging is on point today. Another book of opening, scroll of light. And I'm not even wearing the magic reflection, <laughs> come to think of it. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's drink this water. Maybe we get uh, a useful potion. What do we get? Oh, it's probably just confusion. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here? 
He's just chilling. <laughs> he just loses. <laughs> he just loses me. Oh man, that's funny. We got polymorph. Oh yeah, we did get polymorph. We we only had two. Nice cut. Nice eye. Like that. Okay, here's a slime. Um, we do not have a shield, so we can't train, quote, quote, our, uh... Our, our uh, shield and like, get it up to 100, but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to those confusions. We might be able to use it on beers to get fruit juice. Do I want to work my way through this place? I think I f I'm, f I'm happy where we are. I'm happy in our current situation. I'd much rather just go to the goblin levels and have my minions level up. Because we're insanely powerful as we are right now. Let's just drop that. Yeah, let's just go. We've, uh, we've searched enough. It's worth looking through this place and trying to get a uh, book of healing. But, uh, I don't always get it. Did I miss? I guess I must have missed. Oops! Point blank and I missed my spells. Obviously I'm paying a lot of attention. Uh, let's grab his bow because... I don't know, I guess we can sell it at some point. I'll probably just drop it. We can't train, stand still and hold space. Exactly, exactly. You train by doing absolutely nothing. And that is one of the big reasons why I personally do not like the whole shields meta in this game. Okay, so we'll just have our minions take care of everything. We'll tell them to interact. Interact with him. I'll just go around, pick up all of the junk they leave behind. This is minus two magic resistance. Oh, right, friendly. I forgot about that skeleton. Just keep interacting, keep interacting. There we go. <laughs> Yo, it's a succubus, let's go. That's great experience. I mean, if you think about it, like, even my skeletons level 19 on floor 8? That's not bad. That's really not bad. I'm very strong at this point. Uh, service will stand up locking. What shops, one food, one potions. We have 500 gold. Might not be worth it. We have a fish, so we can eat something. Um, Trepid shield, just hold on to it. But we can't really buy like extra hidden potions and stuff. Yo, Gwent is a strength? Nice. I'll uh, hold on to those. No, no, don't want the shield. No, not poison! I really hate poison. Just drink that, and I don't know. I'm really feeling the uh, interacting with the shopkeeper. Maybe we'll just kill him. We're a max appraisal. Oh yeah, hundred percent we are. I mean, you know, we we've identified Sphinx Veil. Vale. We need to be at hundred. We've also identified the bow. So yeah, <laughs> you can you can get your appraisal up pretty fast. It's it's not hard to do. You just pick up every single piece of junk that you see. Um. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell him to wait. I'm gonna tell this guy to move here. Oh jeez. I guess we kill him as well? 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, what are you doing? No. Please, have mercy. No, not my skeletons. Why, sir? Why do you do this? Okay, Chad. Who told the shopkeepers what my plans were? Who let them know? What is this? <laughs> Okay, we'll just we'll just tell him to chill out and relax. Uh, I'm gonna close the door. I don't have to close the door. I'll just play this. Oh jeez, both of them are here. Um in that case we'll just dodge our way away and then uh I guess we'll go back later. Do we even Oh jeez, okay. We can't let's get up once again. I'm just gonna relinquish this guy, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna not gonna waste my time with them. I can easily deal with them, it's not a big deal, but I don't want to deal with them. Okay, take care of uh, Mr. Slime. I will go and uh, make my way into the, uh, the next area. Okay. So over here, I'm just going to have them fight the goblins. After they're done fighting the goblins, I'll tank a troll, and then uh, I'll take it from there. Let's see, four. This guy has a staff. Sentinel's dead. Of course the Sentinel's dead. Okay, sir, I need to relinquish your soul. Again! <laughs> Then I'm gonna tell the sentinel to just wait here. No, where are you going? Go here, <laughs> Mr. Knight is the one that's gonna be fighting, not you. Oh, this no! There we go. Mr. Knight is far more capable. I don't even know why I'm picking up everything anymore. I guess habit. That's the only thing that really makes sense. Um, do we drop the Ring of Might? I guess we can drop the Ring of Might and then uh, rely on the potions later. Which is actually right now, in which case we might as well just hold on to the Ring of Might. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that stuff. We will take the staffs. Uh, the knight I need to tell to interact with. This guy over here. Who is pretty nutty? Oh, don't don't trigger. Yeah. Now come back. We'll just tell him to hide in the corner. Uh, move to the right of there. And then sleep. I guess we might as well take a look at what's in these chests. Uh, a couple of potions worth looking at, I suppose. Uh, one is extra healing, so that's absolutely worth. Uh, do I just drink the polymorph? You know what? Sploosh! Aww, it had no effect! Usually if you throw those into companions, they transform. Not this time, I suppose. Yo, curse the Lemnic? Ugh. That's fine, I can still use it to combine this. Uh, I'm not going to be using it to do anything else, though. And I need to drop stuff here. Guess we don't need the moldy fish. We don't need a nail. And then we take those. Nice. Okay, let's go trigger the trolls. Uh, level up our shields. And then get the heck out of here. Well, about that, um, I could put something in my main hand. I don't want this something in my main hand. We just zap them. It feels like a waste. I can confuse a troll and take over it. I suppose I could. Eh, 
And we're legendary in shields. Nice. So at this point, I'm just gonna drop that, I'll equip this, uh, take it off of our hotbar, and uh, wait, what? I want it equipped. I think let's just equip the decrepit staff. Uh, I'm just gonna zap these guys. I don't want them to uh, accidentally kill each other. And we'll just quickly run in here and see if that troll is still alive. It doesn't look like he is. I think he... I'm pretty sure he's dead. Uh, what book is that? Teleportation. I'm going to learn it just because why not. And then uh, flutter. We don't need it, but again, why not? It should be... That's an invisibility cloak. Huge! I'll put the... I'll put that away. We'll equip the magic reflection. And that's a scroll of food. Doesn't matter. Staff of locking. We'll just use it. And since we are going to grab the... Wait, no, we have a might ring, right? Yeah, we have the ring of light, so... Sounds like my knight just killed the troll. Which is kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I know as a succubus, if you confuse a human, you can take over a human. I'm not sure about trolls, though. Okay, let's tell them to follow. They'll uh, deal with the troll on their way. Should probably be in range for the experience, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. I do have gloves of might. So, I don't even need the ring. Good call, good shout. Sucks no more indigenous space bread. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Uh, we have one cure element. And we just watch them fight, because why not? You know what? I think if I use these might potions and I throw them at my uh, my knight, that might actually benefit him. But I have probably have to deliberately wield them. I can't have them on the hot part. This is a minotaur level. So we're going to have to be fast, which is unfortunate. I am thinking I should just drink a lot of this booze. Get those on my hot bar so that I can use them on fountains wherever possible. And uh, we'll just run around a little bit here and see what else we can find. I'm not going to hold on to that. Slime will get taken care of. Uh, identify and mer. This guy will get taken care of. Don't need the poison resistance. Curse scroll of food. Don't need that. Let's see. Here's the staff. It's slow, I don't care, but we can use it. That guy's got magic reflection. I should try and get it from him, but... It's not something I'm too fussed about. Since we are a range class, you know, we're gonna... Take a lot less damage, and since we're basically playing single player... Um, we'll be guaranteed the magic resistance gloves. So yeah, we don't really have to worry. You need to charm to tame monsters? Yeah, I thought so. Cool. Let's go through here. And this place just sucks. I hate being here when friendly fire is turned off and we're a skeleton. Um, because 
ghouls are not aggressive towards skeletons. Which means we're gonna have to do some really funky things. And I don't like the funky things that we have to do. Uh, we are also not gonna take the boots since we have the levitation ones. Grab the water bottles. Uh, this alembic might be a good one, so let's wink that. It is also cursed! What is with the curse of the alembic today? Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Let's uh, combine these. Oh, uh, let's combine these. Let's combine the confusions. Let's combine the hero ailments. Just to empty out the inventory a little bit more. Uh, blindness. Do I care about blindness? See, the big thing is, I don't want to craft any potions right now, because if we do, they'll just be cursed. And cursed potions suck. I guess one thing we can't combine is this. Even though that is cursed, I think we'll just drop it, or maybe we'll just combine it with something else. Level up our alchemy a little bit. Uh, I want to, but I also don't. You know what? It's fine. We'll just ignore it. We'll just ignore it. It's it's no big deal. Uh, next up, we will have to deal with the ghouls. Which, if I remember correctly, was tedious. Um... Because if I tell my skeleton friend to attack them, the sentinel's gonna wanna attack them as well. So maybe I'll just go here, tell the sentinel to move behind the corner. We'll come back out and then we'll tell the knight to fight these guys. Throw might at him and just tell him to fight. Then I suppose the sentinel can follow at this point. Oh, Coral Grimes. Um. My knight is probably going to die here, so let's just have him... Yeah, yeah, knight's going to die. Let's uh, relinquish soul. And then just tell the knight... <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do! It's fine, it's fine, who needs your souls anyway? Um, <laughs> uh, Sentinel. Let's just tell the knight to attack the ghoul. Sentinel, attack this guy. Yeah, should be fine. According to the wiki, only charm or dominate works. Dominate works as well, that's true. Uh, I feel confused. What are you been to work around with the large leadership skill? So, confuse, I believe, uh, decreases the leadership that you need to recruit things um and i know if you're a succubus and you use confuse on a human you can recruit the humans this much i know but uh for monsters in general i guess it's a no-no okay you know what i'm gonna combine these because why not and then we'll just wield it and toss it at this guy over here. And tell our knight to fight him. Ooh, knight's already in crystal tier! That's awesome. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Uh, knight fights this guy. Sentinel fights the other one. Remove curse! Ah, oh, beautiful. It's a spell. Now, if only it didn't use 20 mana. 
That's fine, it's just 20 mana. Uh, the Alembic, which probably wasn't the best of things to use it on. And then the Ring of Magic Resistance. Yeah, there we go. We've got Magic Resistance, I'll just drop the Constitution Ring. We learned the Cold. We learned this book already. So I'm gonna drop that. Um, I think we're good to here. So this guy needs to be relinquished. I need to spawn a new set of them. And this level just used up all of my mana. Which kind of sucks. I guess I might as well weaken them, right? Might as well help a little bit. Wait. No! <laughs> ah, the delinquent died again! Of course he did! Why wouldn't he? He always dies. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna ignore the levitation potions. We don't need them. Wait, did uh, these ghouls spawn already? Looks like they did. Okay, sentinel, move here. And then knight, interact. There we go. Skeleton, get get ghoul for friends! And you can get Carl's Oh, that's true, I can. I can, but I generally hate followers. And uh, we have two followers that will basically just, you know... They're followers, they're like my little Pokemon. They're my Pokemon buddies, they're like my Ash. I mean, my Pikachu, and... Uh, you know, Pikachu, I choose you, all of that, all of that stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, it looks like my lantern has broken. It also looks like most of these ghouls are actually gone now. Which, honestly, is kind of funny. Wait, we should use that. Being resistant to poison is better than being able to swim faster, especially when you have levitation. Like this, like that, like this, uh, useless, useless, useless. We'll tell him to interact over here. I'm just gonna go grab these torches. Just so we have some light. More meat shields! Yeah, okay, okay, meat shields. I, I again. I, I really are I'm not fast by them. You You'll see this this guy over here, our Skelebro, this knight that's level 28 on floor 9. He's using crystal equipment. But let's just say he's gonna be insane. He's actually gonna be insane, and you're just not gonna believe what he's capable of later on. Unfortunately, you know, the run is pretty slow, but that's just normal with, uh, with skeletons. Okay, to kill the skeleton, at least. Uh, relinquish. We'll spawn them again. And then... Knight. Whoops! Not what I wanted to do! Uh, knight interact, sentinel interact. Go. There we go, okay. Uh, Sentinel interact, Knight interact. Uh, Mr. Knight? What are you doing? <laughs> You're just, just watching your friend die? Okay, that, that's fine. That, that, you know, that happens. Some people are into that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to make two mana potions. If you, the recipe for mana potions, at least the cheapest one, is using uh, fruit juice and cure ailment. That'll give you restore magic. So if we do need a mana potion, we, we have access to that. Okay, so my knight friend, please fight here. Uh, that book is useless. Summon. I'm going to use summon and then... We'll just have the knight fight the slime. Just gonna spam attack because he only hits him once and then he doesn't want to attack again. And the reason I'm having him kill the slime is just because, well, um, 
What are you guys doing? What are, what are you, spiders over here? What are you doing? Um, the reason uh, it's just uh, more experience for the uh, the NPCs. Yeah, there's if there's two recipes. If there's only three recipes of uh, alchemy that you absolutely want to remember, it's fruit juice and cure ailment, which will give you, um, fruit juice and cure ailment will give you restore magic. Uh, fruit juice and blind and blindness will give you invisibility, and then invisibility and restore magic will give you extra healing. If you only remember those three. You're basically set up to have so much healing in your runs. Because, I mean, do you really want to make a paralysis potion? Do you really want to make polymorph potions? Do you really want to make might potions or any of the other potions? You're not really going to use those. You're really only going to use um, health and mana, right? Okay. I'm just going to run through the level. Tell my guy to fight this dude. And then paralysis. I'm just gonna combine this. That gives us some alchemy skill, but we're probably just gonna toss it. Join the gold and keep moving. Uh, which characters use bliss and which ones use cursed? So. Can I general if I generalize and say demons, do you know what I'm talking about? Let's say remove curse scroll. I'm just gonna leave it. We don't need it. So for anybody that isn't that that doesn't know uh, what I mean when I say demons, it's the succubus and the incubus. They are the only ones that want to have cursed items. Every single, all of the other seven races in the game, uh, you want to use Blast for. Oh wow, we're through that whole area. Okay, that's fine. Do I want to use open? I guess, why not? Why not? Murder, useless. Not worth my mana. <laughs> it's not worth my mana. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that stuff either. Hey, creeper! Welcome in, welcome in! Do I have them sleep or do I just resurrect them? Uh, if they die, they die. I'm not gonna be too fussed. Uh, one thing about Conjurer is this spell gets progressively more expensive the stronger your skeletons are. So. It, I remember back when we were in the few first five floors, it was 17 mana. It's 47 mana now to uh, summon your, your little buddies. So just keep that in mind. If you are playing as a skeleton conjurer, it will get more and more expensive to make use of your friends. Uh, that's you ain't got. That's just cave beasts. Uh, we don't need the protection ring. Magic reflection is nice. Uh, the bow I kind of want to drop. That's yeah, because I don't feel like it's really benefiting us. I know we haven't found a shop to sell it yet, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just I'm not feeling it that much. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just gonna run away from things. Let my buddies take care of everything. Uh, Incubi and Succubi benefit from curses, as if they were blessings. Exactly. Uh, if they have less items, they get blessing, but it sucks. Yeah, uh, so it's stuck to them like a curse item. Exactly, Jacob, exactly. Hopefully, hopefully that helps you out there, Jack. Hopefully, um, what Jacob said just now, his chat message will uh, give you a more detailed description than what I did. So speed and fruit juice will give you invisibility. I think I said blindness earlier. It's not blindness, I'm sorry, it's it's speed. Okay, so our buddy died. Oh jeez, relinquish. Because <laughs> he just got angry with the shopkeeper. <laughs> ah, the fool! The fool! Why? 
it's fine. Uh, we're just going to run through here. We'll have our spell ready to summon another uh, compa few companions, but uh, I'm not really too fast about them. Let's see, what's this? Identify, we don't need that. Hey, look! It's space bread! Nice! Yeah, before that was one of my main problems with alchemy. Most of the potions aren't really useful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, if I have to give you a quick description, fruit juice is probably one of the most important ingredients that you can get. Some potions use booze, and you can use those potions to create fruit juice or the potions that you need to create your extra healing potions. Uh, but for the most part, if you just remember those first three, the ones restore magic. The one is invisibility, which is speed and fruit juice. Uh, if you combine restore magic and invisibility, that's extra healing. If you just remember those three, you're basically set with alchemy. You'll be able to create anything that's useful to you. Uh, yo, Ackerman, bro! Welcome in, welcome in! How you doing? You made it to another bounty stream! Isn't that cray cray? It's like, it's like the second one in a row. I feel like there's boulders that are spawning on my, my head here. There's not. It just feels like it. Uh, so we've got an extra healing. That's nice. I'm just going to combine this. Uh, the blindness... We could make another strength potion. It'll just increase our alchemy skill, so why not? Um, acid. You know what? Might as well make a firebomb potion. Why not? And then uh, we'll just keep exploring. I guess you know what? The, 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 uh, the bombs, the explosion, the booms, they're kind of useful as well. I wouldn't say that you need to know them, but... If you're playing as a brewer, they're pretty effective. Because it helps when I don't have to cut work, you know, just a little bit. Not too much, you know, just, just a teeny tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things. <laughs> you got some time off there, buddy, or... Uh, just not uh, scheduled for today. Uh, Creeper, I am playing as a skeleton conjurer, so my regen absolutely sucks, and it's amazing. I love it. Not really. I, 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 I'm skeletons the, the one race that I never play as, and uh, you could tell in this run I have done things. I have seen things that should not have been seen. Are you guys just confused? What are you doing? Okay, well, I'm just going to tell them to wait and wait. In fact, the night I'm going to tell to sleep. And then uh, we're just going to move through here. We have the Gloves of Might, so we could just push these boulders. Afterwards, we'll get rid of the Gloves of Might. Um, use the Magic Resistance once, and... Yeah, I, I guess that'll just be that. We got some time off. Nice. Just chilling. All is well over yonder. Nice, nice. Yeah, I wasn't planning on streaming today, but then I just decided, you know, I'll someone asked for a conjurer. And I haven't played conjurer in quite a long time. And I don't really have anything to do, so might as well, right? So now we're playing a skeleton conjurer, and we're just chilling. And it, it's going great. It's going fantastic. I almost want to go as far as to say that we are owning it. Yeah, this run is pretty much a, a guaranteed success. Having levitation and, and all of that. What am I doing? Why am I not pushing the boulder? Okay. Uh, this guy needs to go all the way down. All the way down. Thank you. And I'll put this over here and just go around. Uh, I know fear when I see it. 
Your skeletons must have died to scorpions in their past lives. <laughs> you know what? You know what? That that that's funny. I like that. They probably remember all of the barony runs they've done in the past, and they were like, "Yo, those those all those bugs with the, the stingy fingies. Yeah, they're not very nice. They're horrible. Stay away from them at all costs." Doing all of the gold. Nice little bonus over here. And then I guess we'll tell them to start following again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. Uh, if I got so much time that I have scheduled out nearly a quarter of your next year. That is a lot of time, but I'm guessing it has to do with the little one that's coming. You just want to be there to be able to help? I mean, who doesn't want to be there to uh, be there for the little ones, right? I, I guess some people don't. Maybe people that don't like children, or more specifically, uh, babies? Yeah? Uh, I, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. It's, it's fine. It, it, it's relaxing. It's, it's okay. Uh, this is a minute tour level, so I'm going to try and run through here fast. If I don't read chat, I'm sorry. If I miss your messages, I'm sorry. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, but I want to try and find the exit in this maze of the desert before it's too late. Is this one of the... Yeah, I'm not going that way. Um, yeah, I just... Generally, these levels are levels I do not like very much at all. So I try to... Okay, there's the exit. Now we at least know. I heard a gnome, so I think there's a fungus around. There's Fumpus. Sentinel! No! Okay. Uh, staff of opening. I'm just gonna waste it. I don't care. Uh, we will have to make a choice here. I'm just gonna equip the invisibility, drop the magic reflection. Uh, I'm gonna drop this shield. I shouldn't drop the shield. Uh, because I want these staffs of lightning. Uh, we don't have too much uh, sources of damage, so I'm just going to grab the as much magic as I can. Okay, we don't have that much time. The Minotaur is going to spawn very soon. We could actually just let our skeletons kill the Minotaur. But since we have to do that in the next level anyway, I'm just going to tell them to sleep. And then we'll wait for the, uh, the Minotaur. Once the Minotaur spawns, we'll uh, head over to the next level and let them deal with him then. Oh, okay. Never mind. This guy got uh, he got attacked. Sentinel. You know what? It's fine. Let's just go. Another Minotaur level. Okay, that's that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, the chip chaps, they're back. Chip 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 chip. I freaking love the gnomes. Okay, they're awesome. They're little gnome buddies. Uh, so there's the crepid. This is Staff of Lightning. This is a Scroll of Teleportation. Staff of Cold. That's really good. I'm just gonna zap this guy. Because we can. Uh, let's open up Gnome Sol. Sorry, uh, the Minotaur Maze Salon. Tell him to interact here. I'm gonna debate this scorpion in this general direction. Can you not? Are they? Oh, I told him to wait. Um, in that case, yeah, just follow and follow. We know where the exit is, so we're just gonna run around the map a little bit. So it decides to follow you. Okay, that's good. I don't like the knockbacks. This is the spawn room. There is a... We'll just tell him to be attacked. And let's see... There's a troll. I'm just going to punch him a bit. With my pickaxe, apparently. Um, <laughs> that doesn't quite make a lot of sense, but it's fine. And I think we're just going to leave. 
Yeah, I think we just leave. Wait, no, uh, sleep. Uh, yeah, you're a zap brigade, we gotta go. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Uh, if they're playable, you press Alt F4, it's true. I hope they become playable. Oh, the gnomes? Yeah, yeah, the gnome, everybody wants to play a gnome. I think gnomes will be one of the most popular races because you don't have to worry about the freaking jippy jabbies in the gnome mines. So that, that's a big one. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of alchemy here because I feel like it. If you take booze and you use confusion, you'll get acid. Uh, I'm gonna do that twice, and that was actually not so good uh, because if you use acid and fruit and confusion, you'll get fruit juice. So I really just wanted to create some fruit juice stacks, but I guess we just lost our um, lambic instead, which you know it is what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna go up here. Just gonna grab the orb and make a run for it. The knight and sentinel should. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna hold spacebar. Knight, don't die! Don't die! No! Okay, Knight's alive. Th th that's all I cared about. I just wanted him to live. Tell him to sleep. Uh, do we want the orb? I don't really care about the orb. <laughs> he nearly died, Mo. That was so close. Oh, well. It is what it is. Really? Oh, boy. I can't wait to... Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, did you... No, you didn't press Alt F4, did you? He, he was lying. Okay, Alt F4 doesn't guarantee the gnomes. But it does guarantee that uh, they will be in the next patch, so make sure you press Alt F4, yeah? Yeah, totally, 100%. 100%. <laughs> just gonna go through the maze. Uh, I don't think we need to worry too much about anything here. I could go around and grab the potions of speed. So there's one around the corner over here. Uh, these are guaranteed to be potions of speed. Um, but I'm not gonna be taking them, because I do not plan... On making invisibility and extra healing potions. I'm just gonna keep the, the mana potions that I that I have. Uh, I might have lost my hunter run. Bug McGee is lost to the void. Oof. Oof. Flutter? Was it Flutter? Flutter is um it's just one of those things, I guess. Really? You're locked? Fine. I'll just break my pickaxe. It, it's no big deal. I, I don't care. Jeez. Okay, let's tell the knight to sleep because he will die soon. And then, uh... It was Alt F4? Um, if you Alt F4 during the middle of a run, it, it's okay. You can just, uh... You can just load it all back in. It saves at the beginning of each floor, so... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. It was, uh, it was one of those. It was just a joke. Uh, you pranked the prankster! Nice. Hey, minus two shield. That is horrible. I'm gonna put my head down here. Never mind, there's a boulder trap. Uh, is the knight sleeping still? I think the knight's still sleeping. Sentinel should pew pew this guy. I don't know if he is in range of the Knight for XP, but that's okay. Let's see what he has. Cursed Spellbook of Dig. It's probably worth learning, but is it worth using 20 mana on? I'm just gonna do it. It's not gonna hurt to have it. Uh, what's our magic at right now? 74! Considering we haven't really used much spells and magic, that's not bad. Regular steel boot and an arbalist. I am not a fan of the arbalist. It just takes way too long to shoot. Tip, 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 tip. Hmm. 
Man, this level is pretty empty. It's kind of disappointing, actually. First ring of invisibility. Do we want to go through this wall? Yes, why not? Just, oh, jeez. Okay, we, we just one shot him. No problem. <laughs> Whoops! I uh, totally did not mean to do that. Yeah, that's why I really can't actually uh, do any potions, but I can yoink whatever's in here, which was sickness. Um. Our knight is still pretty low in health, but that's okay. What is this? Scrolls! Okay, so we're gonna use Polymorph here, and um, we're gonna go see what Mr. Scrolls has for us. Hello, mana potions! Beautiful! And. Repair, enchant armor. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the enchant armor. I don't necessarily need a weapon, but uh, enchant armor might make a difference for us. Oh, a troll just died somewhere. Reparoni, that could have been good experience. Uh, what is this? Read me. Right. Oh, it's a fumpus. Did Fumpus die? Okay, Fumpus didn't die. Please don't hit me! No! Not Scalabro! What are you doing? Okay. Just let them deal with the one guy and then the other. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna, you know, just stay invisible for a moment. And, uh, read me. So, read me. Read me, read me, read me. Where's read me? There we go. Last one. So, what's really nice about what we're doing right now is uh, we're opening up our inventory just a little bit. Um, I don't know if I can make two more. I can. Okay, that's great. Uh, we're also, as you can see, this helmet. Every time you bless this helmet, it'll increase the intelligence by one. So, there's another two, and another one. And it's plus nine, plus seventeen intelligence, which is pretty big. That's almost twenty percent more intelligence that we had before. Definitely worth doing if you are ever playing as a caster. Uh, got this magic resistance ring, and I think we're good. I think that's everything. Oh, jeez. Bumpus is here. Uh, hello. I thought my skeleton said to carry. What are you doing? Oh, Sentinel, what are you doing? Don't fight Bumpus. Not like that. Oh, man. What is he doing? Crazy dude. Lysin realized that day pickaxes instantly destroyed locks and the goblin's skull counts as fact. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just nod and smile and pretend like I do. Yes, exactly. Curse from move curse. Let's go down here. I close these doors. Uh, Olympic swimming, we don't need. We don't need that. We've got three inventory slots. Not really great, but eh, at the same time, it is what it is. And this is this level, by the way, is the reason why uh, whenever there's a minotaur, I just look for the exit. I don't try to um, benefit as much from the level as I otherwise would have, because uh, you just don't really have the, the luxury. If, assuming this is a big thing, but assuming that, uh, you know, the exit's in a complete obscure place, then 
you'd much rather want to just find it before it's too late. Mm, we'll just go punch the bug. Yeah, we found the exit, that's nice. We're also hungry! Are we still human? Really full now? Okay, there we go. We also managed to get a lot of health back, and I'm gonna drink one water just to get rid of the polymorph. So that's one of the reasons why I kept the booze, just so that we can uh, do something crazy like that. I'm probably going to end up tossing my uh, acid and things if we don't find the Lembit soon. This is as reviable as your minions, yeah, yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Okay, so this level kind of sucks for your minions because, well, let's just say... All of the magic and things is not really their friends. Visibility, yum yum. What's yum yum? Magic mapping. Okay. I'm kind of hoping to find a scroll of charging. Let's see. That's a regular plus one cloak. Uh, just a regular book. Nothing crazy. I think our knight just ran over a spike trap, which is unfortunate. Where's the sentinel? Copy of how to be strong, not gonna need it. Probably didn't have to deal with that guy, but uh, uh, this guy's decrepit, so I'm gonna yoink the gnome staff instead. Scroll of repair, we could use it on our helmet. I'm just gonna do it, because I don't really know what else I want to use it on. I don't really, I'm not using any weapon, so. I'm just gonna work our way through here. And deal with the crazy mad scientists. Yoink his fire potion, which does stack with ours. That's good. Don't need speed. We got polymorph and another extra healing. Uh, let's take a look at chests. Okay, grab the opening spell. Grant the spell book. Let's replace the water. It's a magic missile. Yo! Another feather. Okay, that's great. This is good news for us. Let's put away all of the potions. Uh, you want these? Let's see what they are. Uh, one blank, two fire, a mail, and food. So, um, we're just going to do a couple more read me's. Uh, feather. There we go. And that should clear our inventory up just a little bit. Drop all of our items again. You don't have to drop everything. I just don't feel like, uh, you know, prioritizing this and that. And then we'll just re-equip everything. And we are set. We have... 21 extra intelligence on the helmet. Now, what's really nice about that is... Oh, scroll of charging as well, which we can use right now. The feather. Nice. Um, what's really nice about having the extra intelligence is if you do do any magic damage, you will do that much percentage. Whatever your intelligence is, it'll do as a percentage more magic damage. So, uh, in this case, we've got... Plus 50% magic damage. Now, I don't think... Maybe if we go to the spells themselves. So, if we go to Magic Missile, you can see plus 50% damage from Intelligence. It's 1% for every 1 Intelligence. And 50% is quite a lot. It is definitely not a laughable amount. Uh, 
drink the stuff, which is poison. Are you confused? Oh, he must be confused. Uh, we'll just drop that. Another feather? What is this? Okay, three more blank scrolls. Bloodlighting and a staff of digging. Uh, so we'll learn bloodlighting. I guess we'll do another few read me's. Then... I'm just gonna trade feathers. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, that's just poison resistance, so we'll drop it. This is troll's blood, which kinda helps, but not really. So, I'm gonna learn it, but I don't think I'm actually gonna use troll's blood. Of course, if you were playing, you know, a regular race and not uh, playing what we're playing, then that could have been useful. What's this? Magic missile again? Identify, summon. Another invisibility cloak. Ours is worn. This one is worn. I'm gonna hold on to all of this. Yeah. I'm gonna drop the torches and we'll just equip the shield. I'm just gonna drop the bow because I don't think we're gonna spend a lot of money. And again, I can always drop it later. We don't have to drop it now. We'll just run through the level. See if we can't find something. Uh, tell them to kill the troll. Steel boots. Regular steel boots. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I did not mean to kill that gnome there, but oh well, we did. Just punch this guy a few times. Punch this guy a few times. And honestly, we're so strong at this point, we can kind of just run through the world, through the level. And yes, we are going to hell. These magic missiles are now nukes. Well, 56 damage. Right? Hold on. What was it? No, 45 damage. Which, you know, five of those and I'm dead. If I don't have any magic resistance. They are actually pretty strong now. Uh, blindness. Let's cure ailment. I that speed. We have too many potions. Do I want to upgrade my armor? I think I do. Oh, it's also decrepit. Well, you know, bonus armor. So why not? It's gonna run through here. How many pickaxes do we have? Wait, we don't have any pickaxes? In that case, let's just drop all of that. Um, I need to yoink these pickaxes. We have two excellent pickaxes, that's fantastic. Let's go around this way, see if we can't get a little bit more XP. I don't think there is a special, like a bonus level from where we are. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to use a bottle on the gnome. <laughs> that might be difficult to accomplish. But it would be pretty cool. Gnome in a bottle, it's like a genie, only nobody knows. Okay, I think the skeletons are coming this way. Uh, Book of Poison, I'm not going to be bothered with it. Uh, let's see... Ow. There's a demon over here. Do I want to go open up the wall? I think I'm going to just open up the wall for my Skelebros to come on through. Oh, it's one of these. That's fine. We'll just equip this. Have them come in here. Gotta pull open the lever so long. And yeah. Pickaxe run! Legendary skill of pickaxe! I mean, if you're ever gonna do that, you 100% have to call your character Steve. If you do not call your character Steve, it's not gonna work. Oh wow. That, uh... That, uh, that demon was tanky. Oh, I like, kind of scary. Just a regular book. I'm gonna tell the knight to attack this guy. There we go. 
uh, spellbook is identify. We don't need it, but might as well learn it. Conjure arrow, don't need it. Staff of lightning, I'm going to hold on to. And I think we're done with this level. Fairly spellbook, which is bloodletting. We already have bloodletting. Um, now, I have got a poison resistance enemy. I'm just going to drop it. I'm going to equip the um, magic reflection. We don't need the magic reflection, but we also don't need the poison resistance. And I want to open up a little bit of inventory space here. Um, last but not least, let's go in here and see what we have. Slow digestion ring, absolutely perfect for us. That'll, that'll save our lives for sure. Strangulation and bear traps. Bear traps could be good. Bear traps actually could be pretty good. I'm going to grab these, uh, these bear traps. And then we have the Staff of Digging. The Potion of Invisibility, which... I'm not going to use right now, but I think what I'm going to what I'm going to end up doing in Hell is I'll use the Potion of Invisibility on one of my Skeleton Buddies. Let's uh, just equip this. And now I need to make some decisions. If I want more staffs, let's take a look at their quality. Worn, worn. You know what? I'm going to drop those two and take this. We're bound to get another one. In fact, not just drop them, just use it. Um, this staff is also just worn, so I'm just going to use it. Drop it. Pick this one up. Just use it again. Potions. Eh, not really a fan of potions anymore at this point. Speed. Booze. Water. Doesn't stack with anything, so uh, I'm just going to keep moving. Pirate King. We don't need that book, actually. I don't know why I picked it up. Grab this staff, which is also excellent. That's decrepit, so we're not really fussed about it. And I guess we just run through. We just keep going. Just keep going, going. Where are we going? I don't know, but we just keep going, going. Oh, hello. Okay, Sentinel's nearly dead. Uh, okay, excellent, excellent, serviceable. Excellent, excellent, serviceable. This one's worn, but it's cold. So I kind of want to hold on to it. I've got these two Firestorm potions. I don't know if I'm going to use them. I hear a demon. Ring. Wait, where's the demon at? Oh, there it is. Okay, if my knight's dead, I'm gonna just summon new ones. I'm not gonna worry about relinquishing the soul of my other guy. Then, yeah, you should just die pretty quick. I still hear another demon. Do I have anything in my hands? I do not, so let's just trade that out. You know what? I'm just going to go through the underworld. I don't think there's too much more for us here. This is shop. Uh, not really useful shops. And... Pickaxe. Let's just go. So over here, at least we'll be able to use our staffs um, a little bit. We'll go four, one. And then I don't actually have any torches. Mm -hmm. 
which makes this a little bit more difficult. Not being able to see where I am or what I'm doing. Let's equip the cursed uh, staff. Lost journal. Oh, you ain't the book, that's fireball. I'm hearing a shadow down here somewhere. But he just teleported away, so that doesn't actually help us. A ring of adornment, that's what's not gonna help us. Just gonna punch him. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna equip this. Uh, wait, no, hold on. Bottle, it's an incubus. Uh, we could just punch him. And that should be confusion and booze. No, probably all confusion, thinking about it. Doesn't it? Just impacts staff damage. It does. It impacts all magic damage. Oh, hold on. Does it? It should. It really should. If I remember correctly, it does. But I can't look at it right now and show you. Uh, let's just use opening here. Maybe it doesn't. I could have sworn it did. Because I know, um... Wait, my knights and things are dead? What? Oh, an imp! An imp went to the beginning! Oh, jeez, where's the imp? Imp's missing. Okay, that's fine. Just summon new buddies. I'm hearing the imp around here. There we go. I hear another imp. Is he around the other corner? Let's get rid of the imp. Take a look at what's in the chest. Let's restore mana, which we kind of want to keep. And, uh... Yeah... Not 100% sure where we're going to go from here. What's that? Strangulation? We don't need strangulation. Uh, sleep, or learn it. I still hear a imp. Somewhere over here. Oh, I think I know he's in this room. Yep, there he is. Uh, use this on the fountain. It's speed. I'm just going to drink it. So we can get a bottle potentially. I have no idea. What bottle of water? Yeah, it's not so great. I'll drop this. Just gonna open it up, and I think I'm just gonna go to the the next level of the underworld, so we can actually go to hell. Yeah, let's just go to hell. So similar, I'm gonna equip this. Uh, one, two, four, five. Hold on! No! 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 no. Uh, you guys need to just move here, and then wait. Take a look at the chest, there's a staff, there's a scythe. Hey, enchant armor, nice. So many mana potions, we will probably never die in the underworld. Hmm, I might not want to use my magic staffs that way. Get the rings, they're both adornment, just gonna toss them into the void. Because we do not care about adornment. You ink that book, it's Force Bolt, unfortunately. Uh, another Enchant Armored Scroll! We're getting a lot of these, aren't we? I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just... Whew! We're one smart skeleton! No brains, all intelligence. I'm just gonna drink the booze. Mostly because I'm not too fussed about it. 
No, that's the legendary space bread. Oh, it's here. A human, probably. That's a dead end. Kind of wishing I had torches again now. Oh well. We'll survive without it. Uh, fruit juice. I wish I had an alembic. Bloodletting. Confuse. Fear. I mean, f I'm not going to use it, but that's not one you find very often. Uh, let's drop the booze and just keep moving. Maybe we'll just go to hell. Locally sourced indigenous space bread. Yeah, exactly. It's locally sourced in space. We bake it using the power of the sun. Oh, jeez. Uh, might not want to run over spike traps. But it's so dark, I can't see. <laughs> I really can't see. Okay, we'll just tell them to follow and then interact. And we'll go to the next level. 30% off! Exactly, exactly. Wait, what? Hold on, I never I never actually said it was a discount. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen, listen. You can't scam like that, okay? You can't. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> uh, shadow. We're just gonna zap him. Drop the strangulation. Wow, that's how much damage I do with my fists. Practically nothing. That's not something I'm looking forward to. We're going to hold on to as much of our magic as we can. Uh, we might even have to use fireballs or bloodletting. Do shadows burn? I don't remember if shadows burn. Maybe we'll just use the... Uh, Sentinel! Quick! Go after the imp! What are you doing? No! Not my knight! No! Relinquish! Relinquish! Oh, okay. I think they're both dead. So... Yeah, you fight that. And then... You fight this and uh, yeah, we should be good. Uh, we saw you become the master of trade by selling the same piece of bread to the guy over and over again. I, I can neither confirm or deny that it was the same piece of bread. It, it, it was a different bread every single time, okay? It's, uh, it's, this is fact. It is true. It is totally not a scam. 100% not a scam piece of bread. There's my journal. I just burnt it and uh, you'll never know what was truly inside of it. Ha 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 ha. The truth shall never be known. Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna go to the next level here. Uh, maybe before we go to the next level, I'll just enchant my armor, just in case it's a minotaur level two times in a row. Uh, so we're just gonna drop all of this and use all of those. So we have plus 26 intelligence. That's 20% more damage. Simply by wearing a helmet. That's crazy. actually kind of nutty uh, another thing that it does if we look at our um, mana regeneration over here so uh, our mana regeneration is one every eight seconds if we take this off it's one every 10 seconds so it increases our mana regeneration by like 20 percent as well um, is that a big difference i mean we're a skeleton it doesn't really help but if you're not a skeleton, yes, it, it makes a difference. Hey Shade, how is you doing? Are you home yet or? Yeah, so we actually got a Minotaur level. That's, that's kind of nutty. Um, just tell the, the Sentinel to pew pew the guys at range. And relinquish his soul. We'll summon him again. 
Uh, and then tell this guy to fight the imp because the knight cannot deal with the imp. Not if the imp is gonna kite backwards. The knight will die a lot on these levels, unfortunately. It just is what it is. Uh, two potions of healing. I'm gonna hold on to those. Uh, enchant armor again, or did I just not use it previously? I don't know, but we're gonna take the staff. Just do a quick run around. See if there's anything else for us. And then we'll just leave, yeah. We gotta go a little bit faster because of the, uh, the minotaur level, but... Polymorph potion... Okay, skeleton's dead, so we'll save a relinquish and summon a new group. Uh, sentinel attack this guy. Ah, no, don't run over the spikes! Not the spikes! What are you doing? You know what? Just drink the potions, it's fine. Full health, no issues. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna leave. Ah, oh, not again! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay, at least this level isn't a, uh, a Minotaur level, so we can kind of just chillax. I'm gonna let the shadow just hit me. Oh, it's not hitting me. Oh, there he is. It doesn't actually hurt. Uh, he might break my armor, but um, it's fine. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not gonna be too fussed about it. I mean, we have literally 67 AC. Uh, at this point, I think we're, we're nearly strong enough to uh, block a cockatrice's uh, attack. So, yeah. Do we actually worry? I don't think we do. There's a spellbook of cold. I think I already did learn cold. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, uh, we found the exit. I'm going to also recruit... This guy, maybe we can get the achievement. So I do believe I can tell him to pick up anything. Okay, he doesn't want to disenchant that. Probably because he's already wearing armor. I mean, he's not wearing armor. He needs to equip it. Uh, we'll tell the sentinel to attack this guy. No, not the knight! Not the knight! You're not supposed to be fighting the imps! You're, you're weak against the imps! And they're leveling up more. Okay, if I pull this lever, uh, chances are there's gonna be a demon back there. Ooh, is that healing? It is healing. Um, I don't need destroy armor. I'll just use this right now. Okay, so sentinel attack this guy. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we'll just tell them to attack the goat man. And we'll head down this way. I hear a incubus. There he is. I'm just gonna tell my folks to attack him. Uh, and yeah, at this point, all that's really left is due to baffle my boss fight. Uh, since we are relying on the damage of our, you know, minions, the baffle my boss fight is gonna be kinda kind of ridiculous. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to keep the bear traps on my hotbar. I'll probably keep the once excellent staff on my hotbar as well. I'm going to put the staffs of cold on my hotbar just so we can use those and I'm going to put the extra healings on my hotbar um, because I'll prefer using the extra healings so that we can still make use of our skeletons. Uh, just resummon them, especially during the, uh, the Minotaur fight. That's going to be kind of important. Spellbook of Cold. There's a demon. Oh, yeah. A shaman run cold, Ben 10. Sounds cool. 
kind of makes sense, yeah. Yo, is that a Reno? Yo, a Reno, long time to speak. How have you been? Yeah, we're, we're kind of serving bounty over here. We're just chilling, though. Okay, so... Since they are going to die from boulders, you know, I'm just quickly going to briefly describe what's going to happen in this boss fight. Um, we're going to spawn in. Just tell them to sleep first. We're going to spawn in. Uh, Baffo is going to be in front of us. Our knight and our sentinel will just kind of aggro on every single demon that they see. And suicide, constantly. And if they don't die very quickly, um, once Baffo spawns the boulders that will roll over everything, um, they're pretty much guaranteed to die. So that's one of the reasons I'm not going to worry about like resummoning them and making sure they're, they're healthy. Um, but if we want Baphomet to die fast, so that we don't have to use a gazillion mana potions, we're going to constantly have up here the Sentinel as our actively used um, minion. And then we're just going to constantly press Q because, you know, we're saying attack slash interact. And we're just going to constantly Q and Baffo, Q and Baffo, Q and Baffo. That way, Sentinel will always be killing Baphomet while the Knight is always killing all of the other demons and things that spawn. And whenever they die, we'll just resummon them and repeat the cycle all over again. Uh, I have the Stars of Cold on my hotbar for the Minotaurs. Now, Minotaurs are going to be similar. We're just going to spawn our minions. We're just going to tell Sentinel, hey, kill the Minotaur. And we're just going to run around in circles. And it should be good. It's going to be a very easy, very straightforward fight. We're insanely strong over here. We've been playing for two and a half hours. So yeah, we're good. We're good. Mr. Richard, just in time for the boss fight. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so, uh, you Sentinel, just tell him to attack Baffo. There is a guy over here who just broke my chest plate. It's fine. So, you can see, our, uh, our one friend is dead. That's okay. Just gonna go over here, tell him to fight Baphomet again. Uh, we have our spell equipped, so... Just gonna resummon. Tell them to attack. Q E Q E. I'm just literally ignoring all of the mobs around me. Tell the sentinel to attack Baphomet again. And we're not just gonna run around in circles, yeah. Uh, my magic reflection just broke, that's fine. Tell the sentinel to go and attack Baffo again. And just hide behind the pool of lava. These uh, flaming boulders will always roll over the lava, so you kind of want to you kind of want to make sure that you don't stand in their way if you're going to hide behind the lava. Uh, tell Sentinel to just fight Baffo. He's going to die soon, and then we'll just summon him again. Okay, we're just going to wait and summon them now. So they should spawn here. Just tell them to attack Baphomet. And uh, Baphomet's already half health. We've basically taken no damage. We had to use a lot of mana to keep resummoning them, but, you know, that, that is what it is. Uh, I'm just going to tell them to kill the, uh, the imp. There we go. And then, same story. Fight Baffo, fight Baffo. Just fight Baffo. Eventually he'll go down. <laughs> Eventually. It's, uh, it's gonna take a little bit. We could use our staffs of magic and then uh, that'll, you know, that'll do a lot as well, but I'm not really too fussed about it. Okay. Attack Baphomet, attack Baphomet. Go back to the Sentinel, always have him equipped because he can fight Baffo from anywhere. And then, hey, there's Baffo, go fight Baffo. Our Skelebuddy is dead again, which is fine. 
We'll just uh, hover around, wait for Baffo to kill everything, and then we'll summon our friends. And fight Baffo, who is dead. At this point, we have to deal with the Minotaur, so I'm going to equip a Staff of Cold. Uh, just fight this guy. We'll slow him for you. We'll slow the other guy so long. First Minotaur is dead. Second Minotaur is about to die. And that is the Baphomet boss fight as a insanely overpowered Conjurer. We did have to use all of our mana, but I mean... We didn't have to use any potions, so I guess that's a, a bonus, so yeah. Time to put the mini minotaur in. I don't know what that is. And I am having a good day, Mr. Richard. How are you doing? How is your day coming along? Just tell them to attack. We're also going to move through. We can uh, pretty much go to the end of the game and just... I just finished Barony. They are taking a while. <laughs> Our companions are so slow. No, oh, Knight's dead. I'm not gonna bother resummoning him. I'm just gonna let uh, Sentinel deal with everything. Sentinel can kite these uh, demons unless he gets fireballed. Come on, you got it. Yeah, he did it. Good job! Uh, do I want the booze? I don't think I want the booze. We're not gonna drink it. We're not gonna need it. Slow start to your day? Hey, slow starts can be good. Slow starts can be absolutely amazing. Let's, let's be honest. Okay, uh, I am gonna relinquish this guy's soul. We'll go down. I need to pick up the potion. So there's five extra healings, five restore magics. Uh, we'll go this way, come and grab the Alembic. Hopefully it's not cursed, it's not, that's fantastic. Uh, which one here gives more? 85, 85, they're the same, so I'll just keep it in the purple form. Uh, potions, 210, 205, 205, this one is 210, so I will um, just make all of the extra healings the same color. Uh, now we've got 10 manas, 9 extra healings. You know, we can take this fruit juice, that cure element, there we go, we've got more. Uh, do I want to do anything else here? Oh, yeah, we can probably combine... <laughs> That's not what I wanted to combine! Oh, jeez. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, there we go. Combine that. Uh, let's combine the fruit juice as well. Let's to open up the inventory a little bit. You know, I'm just going to add that one to the stack. Uh, we'll clear up the inventory here that is the tech food i mean it's just a scroll of food we don't need it well let's use it we'll eat a fish and a apple and a cheese uh after we go into a human farm we go upstairs do a bit of trading and yeah we'll just we'll hang out with the locals yeah why not is anger because we interrupted his lava bath. Oh, I mean, we're always talking about the hot tub streams, right? It just messed up, by the way. <laughs> I choose to water bottles on the fountain after polymorphic. <laughs> that's not. That's not very smart. Oh, okay. Let's get the cure ailments. Do the manas. Uh, might as well get more fruit juice, because why not? Equip the empty bottles. That somehow made me eat food. Um, okay. Not really fast here. Let's uh, get more of this. Destroy armor, magic mapping, repair. Do we have magic mapping? There's extra healing. Do I want to do extra healing? I don't really care about that, because we could just resummon our minions. And uh, we've got plenty of potions to take care of ourselves, so um, I might just buy the magic mapping. Maybe not. Not quite full, not quite full. Really full, there we go. Oh, uh, we should probably go to this guy. He always has mana potions. 
Uh, identify, remove curse. I don't really feel like there's anything I need to identify, so I'm just going to skip that. Keep it going. More health potions. A uh, new chest plate. I'm going to get it just because. But I really don't care about it. And we can always get dragon mail. So maybe having said that, I'm just going to skip it. Yeah, I'm just going to skip it. General guy has some health and some mana. He's got some boots for us, but we have levitation boots, so gonna ignore him. I will buy his blank scroll. And the manas, the healing. Um, I guess the water. And the empty bottles. And then I'm just gonna use the empty bottles. Excuse me? Could, could you not? Could you please just relax? Ow! That hurts, guys! That hurts! Let's, uh, let's punch this little ranger and this guy over here. And, um, <laughs> just come around! Yeah! Yeah, it's fine. It's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. Ridiculous. Uh, let's mix the water up quickly. Let's add the extra healing. Now, this is 215, where that's 210, so we're going to uh, swap them around. Uh, add the manas, and as you can tell, we are insanely overpowered at this point. Um, do you guys want to see Cockatrice boss fight, or do you guys want to see the uh, minions fight the boss? I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. Leave me alone. You, you seriously, I, I, I don't want to be punched in the face all the time, please. Please! Yeah, just uh, just in chat. Whatever you guys uh, whatever you guys think. You wanna see the cockatrice? Is it possible for both? Uh kinda, I guess we could just reload the level and then we can showcase Showcase one and then the other. Uh, that's possible. I'm just gonna do this because I feel like it. And I kinda just wanna get it out of my inventory. And then. More mana! Plenty more mana! Let's go! Mana for days! 33 mana potions. I don't think we're dying anytime soon. Wait, is that one stronger than the others? You mean the extra healing? Yes. Sister, the cave entrance is still sealed, is okay. it not? Let's summon our minions. Why do you ask? Never mind. Here we go. And uh I'm gonna grab these crystal torches, just so we have some light. They shouldn't break, but Oh, do we wanna do the shield thing? I'm not really fussed about the whole shield thing. Yeah, let's just equip the crystal thingies. If we need to block, we'll block with them. Oh no, not relinquish soul! That's not what I wanted to do! Oh, that one. Um, I've heard that it is. I can't really say for sure, though. I need to, like, dive into the game's code or something to really answer that question. So, I'm not going to bother killing everything in here. Uh, if we do find the cop traces, I will have them... I will tame them. We'll see if we can't do both the things. Uh, if we can, we can. If we can't, we can't. Um, it'll be what it will be. Are they following? Oh, hello. Uh, automaton. Pick up. Oh, and then I'm just gonna drop this towards him. I really need to try and do uh, a run dedicated to uh, seeing if the uh, automatons, if the automatons have been fixed. Let's see. I'm gonna pick that up. Okay, that's fine. 
There's a feather there. That, that's fine. What's this? Automaton? I'm just going to befriend him. Um, like I said, I want to see if we can get that achievement. If we can, we can. If we can't, we can't. It is what it is. I'm not going to make a fuss out of it. Uh, he's got more blank scrolls, more extra healings, uh, more regular healings, uh, more empty bottles. He also has an excellent Alembic. I'm just going to get it and we're not going to think twice about it. Right now, I think I think it's safe to say potion-wise we're insanely loaded and we don't have to worry anymore. Uh, I do want to find water though. Where is water? No, that's spike traps. That's not water. Arcane Mark? That's perfect for a spellcaster, but uh, yeah. Okay, so levitation is gone. It's gonna bonk this guy on the head. Let's see if this guy, yeah, he's uh, picks up all. I'm just gonna drop items at his feet. Kind of hoping he'll recycle them, but they need to walk over them, so I guess we'll see. Uh, newspaper clippings, new. I feel like I was hearing an imp. I am hearing an imp. Okay, you, sir, just need to sleep for an hour. You, sir, you need to move here, and you as well. I feel like my sentinel is just stuck. I don't know what's up with the sentinel. Okay, uh, sir, you move in there. There'll be two friends for you to play with. Enjoy. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'll help out with this one. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like you might struggle a little bit against that guy. <laughs> I might I might okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, open that, open this. Come this way, tell the knight to fight the human. Let's take a look what's in here. I actually should just go to the exit. Yeah, we found an a vampire doublet. Which we can, you know, equip and it'll give us normal mana regen. But then we have no health regen. But will also be able to revive every 150 seconds, every two and a half minutes. It's probably worth. Okay, he just did the recycle thing. Excuse me. What are you doing? Why are you hitting me? Are you? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, sir, you get out of here. You get out of here. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Uh. Well, at least we can safely say that the uh, the bug is still in the game. The one that doesn't give you the achievement for them recycling items on the floor. We saw him do it twice, and uh, it did not happen. See, so, yeah, I'm just gonna try and find the exit. We're just gonna... We're just gonna try and get through these levels. If I see a cockatrice, I'll try and um, dominate them. Although we have 90 points in magic, so maybe not exactly possible. I could spam magic missile. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind following me? Do I need to relinquish your soul? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Magic Missile a few times, I'll relinquish his soul, and then I'll summon both of them again. These guys are resistant to magic, so, you know, that, that is how much damage we do if we don't use Arcane Mark, but if we do, they die insanely fast. So that's why, if I say, if you're ever going to play a Spellcaster, I highly recommend using a, uh, this guy over here, using an Incubus. Just so that you don't have to deal with the magic resistances as much. Okay. They're all been taken care of. Let's uh, relinquish the soul. Summon them again. Oh, never mind. 
we're not, we're not summoning them again. Not yet. Uh, I'm also going to just use two healing potions. Yeah, we've got so many healing potions. I guess the doublet makes more sense than uh, anything else. I uh, don't need to hold that in our pot bar anymore. And we can just keep going. Automaton seems to randomly attack you when very low on health. Uh, that is true. That is true. I guess he was low on health. Uh, that might have been the reason. I don't know why I just recruited him. We don't need another automaton friend. I really wish they'd fix that bug. I want to get 100% achievements in the game. And I can't because it's locked behind a bug. Just gonna punch this guy. <laughs> I don't know why, I just feel like it. <laughs> we're gonna ignore that guy, we're just gonna find the exit. We're just gonna keep going. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Okay. Next floor, I will summon my companions again. Just to have them out. I will use one regular healing potion. And then uh, we're just gonna find the exit while they... They do whatever they do. But we're insanely tanky, we don't have to worry about much. Our uh, minions are insanely powerful as well. Oh, we don't have to dominate spell, right? 95 in magic. Okay, so... We'll just uh, arcane mark him. Let's see what this is. That's slow. Piece of mail. Oh no, my glasses! He broke my glasses! I can't see well my glasses! I guess I couldn't see anyway, so it's fine. I don't think I'm gonna shield. Minus one. Yeah, we'll just throw that in lava as well. Whoa. Do we go for dragon mail? I don't think we need to. Ninety-eight in magic. God. Okay, well, I can't help it if the kobold gets pupae. Uh, yeah, it's a okay, so You don't have eyes. I don't. What happens to my eyes? I'm blind. <laughs> oh no, my life is over. I'm just gonna, you know, start. Producing music, yeah. I'll do echo location. I'll just tap my bones, and we'll uh, we'll hear the, the the sound bounce off the walls. Yeah, yeah. I'll feel the world in my bones. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Come on. 99! So close! But I have no more mana! And... we learned Force Bolt. So I'm just gonna spam Force Bolt until we get 100 in magic. There we go, we've learned Dominate. Uh, at this point, I'm not gonna be using magic anymore, except for Dominate. And we'll try and Dominate a few... Uh, Pocketrices and things. Hopefully we don't get uh, insta-killed by not having enough health and mana. But, considering my extra healing potions and my uh, pretty big mana pool, we should be fine. Oh, speaking of which, I hear one already. Brother, somebody's making their way through the caves. Are you concerned? Do we full health him? No. I don't think we should full health him. Oh jeez. Hello. I don't remember. They've got like 500 health, right? See, if we misjudge this, then we'll just die instantly. We won't have, we won't have an amulet of life saving to like... Back us up. I think let's just use all of my mana potions. 
So this is, what, 705? Yeah, they've got 500. Okay, so we need to be careful. We need to be very careful if we're gonna do them at full health. We can also just, you know, recruit them. We can't tell them to sleep, though. Make them low and then toss uh... Toss uh, extra healing potions in their face to heal them? But, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that. Being undead is a complicated thing. This is true. But it also isn't, so... Yeah, I don't really want you to do that, friend. We're poisoned now. And you're taking damage. Yeah, that's not so great. Um, Let's use one potion. Do I still have Polymorph? I don't. Otherwise, I might have gone in there and tried to... Try to uh, get some more potions, but uh, it's fine. Let's just drink up and keep moving. And if I need to, I will just equip healing potions. In fact, I'll do that right now. Uh, wield. Heal this guy up just a little bit. Who did the knight fight? Oh, Golem. You are one brave knight. I'll tell you to go to sleep. <laughs> just sleep it off. This is a flesh wound. Just sleep it off. You ain't even got enough flesh. Sentinel, attack this guy. You know what? I'll just stand here. I'll tank for them. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe I'll just go around and tank things for them. Do I have a shield? I do. I'll go over here. Which means let's take the cloak of invisibility off. And uh, this will be the way we get our our companions through the level with most of their health. Do I want to worry about fountains? Not really. I feel like we've got way too much already as it is. <laughs> that is dangerous! Only a fracture. I mean, if it was a fracture, it'd be kind of serious. Uh, that's like losing your freaking leg. It'll literally snap in half. You don't want that to happen. Oh yeah, let's just chill here. They'll, they'll get you eventually. Right? Right? Guys? Where are you? Hello? Thank you. <laughs> what took you so long? Okay, the crepit plus one, this is plus four, so we will swap that out. I'm not going to be using acid or anything like that anymore, so I'm just going to drop it. Where is the exit? Well, I'm going to run around here. I'm just going to take a look in so we don't have to run all the way back. It's not up here. Oh, you know what? I know where the exit is. Uh, we're gonna go get Dragon Mail. No, oh, do we want it? No, you know, I'm not gonna bother with Dragon Mail. Sure, we can have normal health regen, but normal health regen is slow. And on top of that, it's, um... Oh, this is... <laughs> no, don't, don't fight the... Yeah, fight me, fight me. Okay, um... Yeah, that, that wasn't so good. Do I use another one? I think I'll just heal up off regular heals. <laughs> I've seen it now! Lyson has become full lich! Kinda, I guess? Oi! 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 Excuse me! I do need to heal though. I don't have any health. Uh, let's just drink two of these. One would have been fine, but... Eh. 
Not really fast. Magic mapping! Yes! <laughs> okay, okay. So now we really can just rush to the end if we want to. But I'm guessing we're not going to do that because, um, yeah. Uh, skipping Dragon Mail. So... Where's the exit? I feel like I have to go to Dragon Mail just because I can't find the exit. Which is like a terrible reason to go. <laughs> Where's the exit? Over here? Please! I just want to leave! This is a scam. And I... I can't really see past her. Let's go down here. There it is! We found it! We did it! We finally did it! Okay, Minotaur level exits right here. Just gonna take a quick look. I don't care, brother. Send it anyway. Because the only thing I'm really interested in having right now is... Uh, the cockatrice as... Uh, companions, but I also don't feel like running above and beyond to try and find them. So yeah, we'll just we'll just keep going. Is it more than one dead? Oh, faster and generously holds onto a legendary to item. Him. It's part of his collection. I, I mean, I mean, I, I could, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, then we won. We are going to win. But we haven't won yet. This is all wrong. We uh, vampires, I'm just gonna hold block. Let them deal with it. Immortals. Just so that they don't have to uh, take any of the damage. Because I don't think they're blocking their ACs as much as mine. I have 74 AC. If I block an up to 99, which is 99 points of damage reduction. If a golem... A crystal golem decides he wants to smack me in the face with his big power attack and will only take 50 points of damage. Which is pretty ridiculous, actually. Come on, let me pass! Okay, fine, you guys come out. Only reason we're taking damage here is because he has an axe. Okay, and I need you to heal up. I hear another cockatrice. Somewhere in that general direction. Uh, I'm gonna try to get there through here. Wait, we, we got the, um... Didn't we get extra healing or something? No, it was Troll's Blood. I think we saw an extra healing book that we could buy, and then I decided not to. Hey, another vampire doublet. Okay, okay, relax, people, relax. Okay, my sentinel's there. Oh, not that but he's a little hurt. Um, I'm not finding what I'm looking for. I hear it, but... There's somewhere over here. Okay, I'm just gonna hold block here. If he does a power attack, I'll dodge. <laughs> we didn't even block! That's funny. You paralyzed me! Why well, you paralyzed me? Oh, it's my own skeleton shooting me. What? Why? Why are you, why are you shooting me? Stop! That hurts, bro! What are you doing? Stop! <laughs> Troll's blood does actually affect nearby allies. It does, but we've got two skeletons, which will just have regular healing. 
and then a uh, cockatrice that will benefit from it. I don't know if it's really worth it. And we're not gonna benefit from it unless, uh, you know what, I guess we might as well, we might as well. I will just take off the, uh, we'll take off our doublet and put it on slot 4, so if we want to we can, uh, we can just swap that out and cast some healing. I'm gonna close this, we could go in there and see if he has any, um, anything for us, but uh, we don't have polymorph. If I had blindness, I would try and create a polymorph, but we don't have blindness, so not really. I hear it? This way? Somewhere? This way? Let's just drink the booze. Mostly to get rid of it. I think similarly with the uh, the health potions. Just want to get rid of them. Okay, he should be to the left here somewhere. Ow. Drop that. Sort my inventory. There he is. Nearly killed us, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna equip the doublet again. I'm gonna drink three mana potions, and then we will just use Troll's Blood. We should hopefully heal up everyone else. And then we're not benefiting from Troll's Blood, but we are getting more mana back. So let's leave. We have two Coptress, and this is a Minotaur level, which sucks. Is this floor 33? 32. This Minotaur has been moping about. Oh, jeez. Um, 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 do that. Dominate. I'm gonna die. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, mana, mana, mana. And we'll just do the heal. I honestly feel like just telling everyone to wait here. And then we'll just run. Uh, maybe use magic mapping. Exit's right up here. Can you not be in my way, please? Thank you. Okay, so I hear another cockatrice. We're gonna use the mana, regular heal, mana to make sure we have got full. Go about Should be just to the left here. There isn't much to prepare. There it is. No, oh, that's the wrong one. No. Okay, well we've got a couple, a couple of friends. This, this, this should be fine. Uh, I think, I think we're ready. Oh jeez, uh, move two? Yeah. Uh, that should be fine. I'll tell this guy to move here. And I'm not gonna worry about the rest. Again, I'm just gonna tell them to wait. Wait. Cycle. Cycle. The knight and sentinel can follow me. Uh, wait. And wait. Okay, so all the cockatrice are going to wait here. And we are going to... Move on. There we go. Got four cockatrice. That should be plenty to kill the, uh, the final boss. So much so... I don't feel like we have to do brawn, but... I guess we might as well just for why not. Here's just the cloak of levitation. We don't need it, but wait, there's another one here. Okay, we'll kind of <laughs> make friends of you as well. No problem. Um, <laughs> that's a uh, that's a lot of friends. It's a lot of friends. 
Jeez. Relax. Relax. Let's just go. I want to get out of here. Okay, so one more floor, and then we'll do the boss fight. Um, I just realized, can I tell them to interact with the trapdoor? No, I cannot. So we'll just leave them to have some fun over here. We'll resummon our skeleton and things to fight the uh, Brom, and then I'm gonna drop the invisibility cloaks. not going to worry about the shadows, we're just going to run straight past them. And we'll just, we'll just sit here. <laughs> we'll, we'll, just, we'll just relax, it's fine, it's fine. Lysian be a lich confirmed? Conjurer is insanely powerful. It's insanely powerful, as you guys can tell. Uh, we've got five cockatrice. I'm not gonna get another one. It's overkill already as it is. Our exit's literally right next to us, so... I am gonna do this fight twice. The first time I'm gonna do with the cockatrice. Uh, the second time I will do with... The, uh... Just the minions. Just so you guys can kind of see how crazy both of these can be. Just gonna heal them all up. Uh, we'll use the regular heals now. For the rest. That guy is topped up. This guy's topped up. He is. He is. And he is. Oh yeah. So, I'm just gonna swap over to the knight. Say, relinquish. The sentinel. Say, relinquish. And, uh, may the hilarity ensue. Okay, cool. Honestly, any class that's tanky, any class that scales constitution and gets a lot of AC, um, they're generally just strong. Oh, did I go too fast? I went too fast. <laughs> the cockatrice didn't follow me. No! It's fine, it's fine. We'll just continue. We'll just load. It's okay. I guess maybe I should have just done a like regular conjurer run there, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, so... Our access to power has only relinquish, increased. relinquish, and then we'll do the same as before. We heal you, heal you, you, you. Go swap to the regular heals, top them up. There we go. Okay, we'll we'll go a little bit slower this time. Just a little bit. Drink all of the those just because why not? Okay, can you guys come in here? Thank you, thank you. And you know, just for extra hilarity, I'm gonna do this. Strength, strength, strength. And we're just gonna stand here. We're literally just gonna stand here. After a long gaming session, yeah. Oh. So, did you guys enjoy that run? <laughs> it, it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, let, let's be fair. You have to sacrifice a lot to get this army. But let, let's be honest, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so that, that's using the cockatrice strat. Um, <laughs> if you've got life-saving amulets, you know, it's even easier. You won while I was just watching. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, uh, wait, what? We okay, okay. Ackerman Curse is not affecting us today. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna relinquish their souls. Uh, relinquish and relinquish. We'll have them on our hotbar. I'm just gonna heal up again. 
And same as before, you know, just not worry about it. Spawn them in quickly before the cock trees can do something. And there we are. Semi story. I'm just gonna summon my minions. I'm just gonna chill here. I'm gonna watch for a little bit. Beatrice doesn't like me. I might have to use a couple of potions, but eh. We'll see what happens. So yeah. Conjurer is fun. <laughs> Do we heal, or do we just wait? I feel like we might have to heal. Yeah, let's heal a bit. First Lich is dead. <laughs> now we just have to wait for the second one. And um, yeah. That is essentially Conjurer in a nutshell. I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. Oh no, the knight died! What will we do about our knight? Oh, right. We could just... We could just, you know, summon him again! This will go faster if you micromanage your, uh, your companions and specifically tell the sentinel. Remember, sentinel is ranged. So you need to kind of prioritize having your sentinel fight Beatrice and having um, your knight fight... Uh, the other guy, but uh, for the most part, you don't really have to worry. You can just kind of chill out. Ah, I'm gonna do this fight one more time. Uh, she is gonna die. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna try and micromanage them a little bit, but we are gonna have the cockatrice kill each other and then finish them off just so that it, it's a little bit easier to manage. That's one thing I didn't want to do. I don't want to like micromanage there, but uh, we'll do that quickly. So, you attack this guy. No? There you go. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. There's a little more. No, no, not, not stun, they're immune to stun. You should know this. Come on, come on, yeah, yeah, just, just a little more. Just a little more. Just hit him! What are you doing? You fool! Do something! There we go. It's slow, but it works. Okay, so we'll have this guy kill that guy, and then last but not least, wait, is he? Okay, yeah. This should be pretty low after uh, after this. And then we'll just kill him ourselves. Oh, let's take gold. No. 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 Did you just fight the... No, 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 no. Stop messing with me! <laughs> oh, I've got the wrong uh, cockatrice equipped. Wait, what? Go. Fight! Do something! And this guy, uh, I'm just gonna punch. Look at this. We take no damage. Because we're just way too tanky. If I don't hold block, then we take damage, but we're just way too tanky. Uh, okay, heal up, heal up, and I'm not gonna bother healing them, we'll just resummon them. Uh, get the Conjurer spell out. Uh, have the Sentinel out. Wait for our buddies to show up. I've got the shield. I don't need to use any things myself. Maybe just put the healings on my hotbar because why not? And then knight attack him. Sentinel attack Beatrice. Oh, they're not here! They're not here! Where'd they go? They got trapped outside! Again! Ah! Okay, so Sentinel, Beatrice, please. And I think, yeah, he... The other guy already... He already, um, you know, decided to, like, bail. Yeah, so we're just gonna watch. We're not gonna... We're gonna try not to heal. Um...
just tell our guy to find Beatrice. He's gonna teleport away any moment now. In fact, I'm just gonna resummon. Uh, let's have this guy be finished. So yeah, if you micromanage, you don't need to worry about heals or anything. Just tell Sentinel to go attack there. Attack there. Might attack. And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I guess if you hide behind walls, it's a little bit safer. You won't have to take the nuke damage, but... <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it's the difference. Like, magic resistance, the high AC, which is way too strong for these liches. Lycian has become a lich, confirmed. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Conjurer run. It's a uh, skeleton conjurer, not my favorite. You just don't regenerate enough mana to really... Um, become a strong spellcaster. I do recommend playing as a uh, an incubus for the arcane mark so that you can negate the magic resistance. Um, just have your minions out at all times. They don't necessarily need to kill everything. If they level up, they become stronger. You know, that, that's awesome. Um, they are great. They can basically solo the game. As, you know, you guys just saw. Uh, but... At the end of the day, conjurers are tanky spellcasters that just happens to have minions they can bring around with them. Uh, I hope you guys also enjoyed the Crocatrice fight. I, I always find that hilarious because it's so stupid that you can do it. But hey, you, you can, so why not? Right? <laughs> why not? It, it's in the game. It's a thing. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please uh, leave a like on the, the VOD. Uh, if you guys want to help the stream grow, or not the stream, the channel grow, uh, yeah, dropping a like, just leave a comment, I don't know, anything. If you want to, if you want me to play another class or uh, do some sort of, like, experiment or challenge or anything like that, uh, just let me know. I do want to get back to Punisher. We Our Punisher run kind of ended poorly a few times, which is a little sad. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll, we'll get back. We'll finish that. And do some more. But, yeah. Just, you know, comments, likes if you want to help. And I don't know when my next run will be. It might be again in this week. Might not. Um, I'm kind of trying to figure things out. But at least I can say I had fun. I hope you guys had fun as well. And I will probably catch you in the next one. You all take care. Have a good day, good night, good morning, wherever you are in the world. This is Lysiant, and happy dungeoning.